As soon as freshmen arrive on campus, career planning reaches out to engage students with our services. The Institute for Career Planning is making it easier for students and alumni to manage their professional careers through a career management system called Handshake. Through this system, we are able to connect students with national and international jobs in addition to internships across all majors. Handshake is not just an employer connection tool. It also helps our office communicate with students about opportunities, upcoming events and programs, career resources, and connects them to mentors. The addition of Handshake takes our jobs and internships to the next level and will contribute to our students' success. Being a hockey player myself, working for the Penguins was a dream come true for me. I did a lot of hands-on work um, for three days during training camp, um, the development camp, actually the rookie camp. Um, I was with a camera all three days filming them, basically working um, alongside a part-time employee doing exactly what she was doing, um, interviewing the players after the practices, after their scrimmages, and also doing stand-ups um, alongside Selena Pompiani, who helped uh, train me on the summer two on the on-camera work. I chose Adrian College, one for basketball and then also academics, seeing as Adrian College is one of the top schools in the Midwest. And they also have my um, graduate program here. So it benefits me to be able to get my master's within five years. Where I currently work with Hans Bank. Um, it's a small little company, um, Michigan-based, but I work in our smaller office in Tecumseh. I am a personal banker there. Um, who does common banking transactions, but since we have a smaller office, I tend to work more with client issues, open accounts, and I work with our branch manager and other financial planners um, with things that they need assistance with. Those things have really helped me and has set me up to be able to handle any challenges that life throws my way. I was given the position of the marketing slash digital media intern for the company Lenaway Now, which is the Economic Development Corporation here in Lenaway County and I work closely with Sarah Stanley, who's the marketing manager, and we do a lot of social media content. I write a lot of blog posts, press releases, articles for the Daily Telegram, um, and that's really great for me for ex personal experience and professional experience because I'm trying to break into the field of journalism, which obviously is a lot of writing. I started at Adrian completely unknown. I had no idea what I wanted to do. And so I took, like, we were able to take so many different classes. And from there, you know, I thought maybe I'd want to do business. You know, my dad's a business guy. My mom's a physical therapist. Oh, maybe I'll like something medical. And I literally took every possible different kind of class. And it led me um, to something medical. And so I thought maybe that I wanted to be a physical therapist initially. And so I started uh, shadowing in the physical, th or like within that, um, started taking exercise science classes. And from there, I decided I just wanted something more than that. I wanted to be able to treat more things, see more people. And that's where I really decided I wanted to do medicine. The Institute for Career Planning is very proud to be front and center in contributing to the efforts of Adrian College to assist students in their future career preparation.
because now you're a graduate of Adrian College, or soon to be. And because of that, you move into a distinctive class of Americans. You are now part of the educated elite of America. People will have more expectations of you, higher expectations of you, more need of you than you probably realize right now. People will already start turning to you, looking at you, watching you, listening to what you say, because whether you think of it or not, you are now a mentor and a teacher to those around you. Think of those core values. Think of how you can transmit them to others. Think of how you can build the groups in your workspace or elsewhere around those core values. You're going to be called upon to lead, whether it's at work, whether it's in graduate school, whether it's at a PTA meeting, whether it's in church, whether it's in a sports club. People will look at you and expect you to raise your hand. And you need to do it, and you need to step up to that, and you need to drive forward what you have learned here and the values you take away from this wonderful, wonderful college. I'm proud to be a part of the 2019 class of Adrian College, the Cinco de Mayo class, forever known. And I wish you all the greatest of success in the years to come. Congratulations to all of you. Welcome to Arrington Ice Arena here on the campus of Adrian College. You're tuned in to the Adrian College Sports Network as we have the number one Adrian College Bulldogs against the number 25 Robert Morris University Illinois Eagles. I'm Matt Kibbe joined by Gary Vento. We'll be on the call tonight as we are off here and the Bulldogs have the puck. This is going to be a big series for the Bulldogs, a Saturday-Sunday series here on the Adrian College Sports Network and they're gonna get it off going here as the Bulldogs have the puck in possession behind the net. 
Gary, welcome to the broadcast. How are you doing today? I'm great, Kibby. Thanks again for having me tonight. Looks like we've got another great game for store tonight. We're already seeing some physical play and the, the puck moving around the ice, but let's see what the Bulldogs can do tonight. Oshawa has it now, and he's going to send it up to Moore. Moore crosses the center line, heading in on the attack. Looking to get something going here. Shot, can't get it. Spate was there. Has it behind the net now, looking to wrap around. Kotek back at the point, can't get anything. Shot above the blocker. Down in the corner now, Nolan on the defense. Robert Morris is bringing it up. Wrapped around, Kotek grabs it, sends it up. Robert Morris dumps it back in, and Nolan's going to have to be the one that goes and grabs it. He's going to settle behind the net, trying to get something going here. The offense is looking to set up. After a big weekend last weekend against Oakland University, the home-and-home -home was another sweep to put the Bulldogs at 22 and no O on the year. Nolan behind the net now. Barrett is the starting goaltender for the Adrian College Bulldogs. You got some facts on Barrett for me, uh, Gary. Yeah, no, most definitely. So, again, our goalkeeper Barrett tonight, he's coming in with a 13-0 record with 1.2 games against average. So he's, he's having a strong year again for these Bulldogs. Um, again, it's great to see a number one spot, and we got the goalie for that. Bulldogs had it in the offensive zone. Robert Morris was able to take it away. The Eagles are coming in one-on-one -on -one battle. Adik has it, puts a shot saved by Barrett off the leg pad, and Donaldson's going to be the one that grabs it and heads the other way with it. Swiped away. Robert Morris pickpockets it, and they have it now in the offensive zone, putting the pressure on. Shot saved. Didn't even get to the goaltender. Severino's going to grab it. Pushes it up. Stanko has it. Crosses the center line. Dumps it in. Three defenders on him, and he's going to be the one that goes after it on the forecheck. Robert Morris pins it up against the board. Player loses his stick, has to find it, can't do it. Fingers the one back there with it. Sends it back into the slot. Shot from Stanko, doesn't get through. Blocked in front. Shots in favor of the Bulldogs, 2-1 early in this contest. 17-30 left, crossing into the offensive zone. Offsides is the call, so the Bulldogs will have it. Smith was the one with it. He passed it up to Stanko, and the goaltender... For Robert Morris grabs it and sends it out. Bulldogs grab it again. 17-12 left here in the first period of action. Nothing to nothing's the score here on the Adrian College Sports Network. We're streaming on the Adrian College TV YouTube channel. Shot saved by the goaltender. And who's starting in net tonight for the Robert Morris Eagles? Gary. Yeah, it looks like they got uh can't tell right now. It's number 19. Joel Mafetta. Is that who you got? Oh, correction. Let's Chris, make it. Chris Mullen is going to be the one number in there. Number 29. Number 29. Senior. The senior, 6'3", 205. It's on his glove side as the faceoff. Bulldogs are going to be the ones that take it away. Like I said, we're streaming on shot. Doesn't even get through. Oshawa has it. He shot from the point. Can't get it there. Frederick and Jelly on the ice now. He's got speed for these Bulldogs as Robert Morris is bringing it. They dump it in. Barrett's going to be the one that has it. Doesn't even touch him. Stone goes after it, the defenseman. Bond is with it now. Sent in, offsides, I apologize, that was Kuhn. Oshawa is going for it, behind the Bulldog net. The netminder, Barrett, looking for it, can't do anything. Big hit on the boards yeah. by the Robert Morrison Eagles, and the Bulldogs have a chance here. Five shot saved mm. by the goaltender, Milan. Bye with it. Passes it across, Kuhn, Kuhn can't get it through. Shot, no goal, is waved off by the referee. Fye has it again at the point. Dumps it behind, wrap around. Frederick and Jelly's there to grab it on the board. Kotek, slap shot from the point and a glove save by Milan. As I was saying, yeah. we're streaming on the Adrian College Sport Network tonight. Streaming on WVAC 107.9 Adrian, as well as the Adrian College TV YouTube channel. You can check us out on YouTube, subscribe. Facebook, give us a like. Twitter, give us a follow. And TikTok, give us a follow. As we are spread across all sorts of social media platforms as the puck is dropped on the glove side of Milan. And the Robert Morris Eagles are on the defense. Nolan shot from the point. And oh! Oh! There we go. Kutinski with the goal here with 15.49 left in this first period of action to put the Bulldogs up one to nothing here. What did you see there, Gary? No, again, we've seen some bulldog hockey here at 15:49 in the first period. They're moving the puck around really good. It's great to see the action. Great to see how they're working together as a team right now. And 
Start with this one goal lead, and again, with 10 shots on goal, it's bound to see, happen in the back of the net, and, it, and that's where we're at right now. It is one to nothing's the score here as the Bulldogs win the faceoff after putting one in the back of the net. Perkowski was the one that did it. Big oh. hit, and we're going to have a delayed call here as Spate goes down on up. the ice, and he's going to have a whistle. Hopefully, he is all right. He took a big hit there. No, he definitely had his clock clean, and here we go. We've got some action on the ice again. And they are defending their teammate here. Not something you want to see. Now it's good to see the happy. assistant captain, Dominic Moore, out there kind of stepping up for his guys and being vocal and, you know, letting Robert no Morris know it's their house. Moore is the one for Robert Morris in the box after that. Spate is the one down. Hopefully he is all right. And they are going to kick him out of this game. And some extracurriculars here. The whole entire referee is trying to gain control, not letting this happen. This is not something you want to see nope. after a big hit. This is going to be a five-minute major misconduct. More for the Robert Morris Eagles. Both teams defending their own. Spade is up and heading off with the trainer. Took a big hit there in the offensive zone. The score is one nothing. Now Shagas is going to have to go and serve some time. And in again, the box. you can see the referees out there trying to control the pace of the game as well as he, he, kind of keeping everyone under control right now. Let's get back to hockey. We're going to have a couple guys sitting out here for a minute, taking, a, taking their time in the penalty box, if you will. But we'll see if we can uh, get control of this game again, but get back on the ice. Rasky is the head official tonight. Seeing what's going on. Both coaches will get an explanation here as we have a five minute major assigned to Moore as he was kicked out with the game misconduct early in this matchup. Shagas is in the box for two minutes. So we should have four on four hockey here as we go over this. And you know, this is something that we don't like to see early in the contest. But yes, you are trying to establish the force that you had, the physical being of yes, your game. And absolutely. In some cases, it's a little bit more than what you might want. And I think in this case, that's what we saw. Yeah, I think, you, like you said, we kind of walked the line there for a minute with some physical plays, some big hits, both back and forth with both squads tonight. But it got to the point to where, you know, we don't want to see any injuries. We don't want to see anyone getting hurt. Uh, we want to keep everyone on the ice. And, well, you know, we had one lead tonight. So uh, we'll see how he is and kind of go from there. And uh, looks like we'll be playing hockey here shortly. Yeah, you're tuned to the Adrian College Sport Net Sports Network. I'm Matt Kibbe, joined by Gary Vedato. Our top cam today is Leonard Poole doing a great job so far into this game, and we expect great things from our ACTV staff. We have C.J. Wade over directing this, and you wouldn't know that because she has geology homework tonight <laughs> as she is studying for a test. She is multitasking here on ACTV, and if our if our uh, in, Executive producer is listening. Don't be alarmed. It's a big test. Geology is very hard. Hey, it's college student work. You got to multitask. You, That's you the life of a student. You got to be able to multitask. 15:35 here as we're back to the regularly scheduled programming here as the ACHA men's Division One hockey team is taking on Robert Morris. Four on four hockey here, with one minute and 45 seconds left on the penalty, and we have another one coming to Robert Morris. So it will be four on three hockey for a minute 45 as we're getting Raskies coming over calling for a tripping call. Robert Morris looking for an explanation. Now again, like you said, Kevin, with those first five minutes of the game tonight, we're kind of we're trying to establish that that force, like you said, kind of having some physical play, and we've got a lot of action. And, and again, we got four on three hockey with. Bulldogs having four players on the ice, and uh, we'll see if we can't get a power play goal now. Ice opens up as Holt goes to the box for tripping for Robert Morris. A shot and a save. Robert Morris has it. Now it's four on three here. Stanko with it. Stanko looking to get something going. Four on three here for another minute 30. Oshawi has it. Shot from Smith doesn't get through. Robert Morris with a great defensive play to get it out of the offensive zone. 14.55 left here in this first period of action. Oshawi has it. Or Oshawa, my apologies there. Over to Smith. Smith cross the ice. Long pass to Stanko. Stanko with it now. Down to five. Five looking to get something going. Shot in the goal. Goal. Oh, has it, and that's going to be a power play goal for this 
number one team in the nation. Well, there we go, back to Bulldog hockey, being able to capitalize on these opportunities of power play. Tyler Fry, the sophomore, 6'1", 180 pounds out of, out of British Columbia, being able to step up for his team, put one in the back of the net here at 14:42. It's great to see the Bulldogs with a two nothing lead, but we'll see if we can keep this tempo going with shots on net and hopefully people out of the box tonight. Fry with the power play goal. It was four on three, so now it is back to four on four. Still four minutes left in that five minute major to Moore, the Robert Morris, Illinois player. Stone is the one with it now. He's looking to set up the offense. Plenty of time on the power play. Five minute major, meaning you can score as many goals as you want. Frederick and Jelly has it. Back over to Stone. He's the one that takes it in. Stone looking to set up the offense. Back to Kuhn. Kuhn has it. He sends it over to Bond. Bond looking for a shot, passes it down to Stone. Stone, the alternate captain, sends it back up to the point with Bond. Bond over to Kuhn. Kuhn with it. Hovering along the half wall in the far side corner. Pinned up by a Robert Morris defenseman. Frederick and Jelly coming into graduate. He pickpockets it away. Looking, passes it up along the half wall up to Stone. Stone at the point. Shot from Stone. Blocker saved. Wraps around the net. Robert Morris is regathering with it. Robert Morris has it taken away by Bond. Shot and a glove save from Milan in the crease. Great look for the Bulldogs there as they were able to pass the puck around. Great puck movement. They still have 15 seconds left until they're back at full strength and it's five on four. Yeah, and the Bulldogs are going to be looking forward to that, to having an, another man advantage for about three minutes. But uh, again, we're seeing 13 shots to one. Robert Morris to the Bulldogs, and it's great to see the Bulldogs getting this many shots on net. It is great to see for the Bulldogs. Robert Morris looking to get down into the offensive zone and put something on. The ice is open here with one player down for each team for another five seconds. Kotek with the one who is with it. He comes across the center line. He brings it in with speed. Stops at the point on the near side to going to the center. Bulldogs back at full strength looking to get something going. Stanko with it. Back over. Severino and then to Nolan. Nolan back to Severino. Severino shot. Hits off his stick and can't get through. Glimble the captain can't see it as Robert Morris is able to clear it and get it out of the offensive zone. Nolan grabs it now back in the defensive zone. Back over to Severino. Severino crossing the center line. Going across, number eight for the Bulldogs. Sends it back. Severino's the one still with it. Looking for a cross ice pass. Can't get it to Dominic Moore. Number 19, Kotek with it. Scores 2 nothing here as Glimble has it. Down to Moore. Moore can't keep control of it. Sends it back up to the point with Kotek. Kotek pinned along the half wall with the Robert Morris Eagle. Moore has it back to Glimble. Saved by the goaltender Milan. And is able to kick out of the offensive zone and back in. Robert Morris with it. 2 10 left on the five minute major. For the hit on Spate, haven't seen Spate back on the ice since that hit. We'll keep track on that. Moore with it. Deeks a player. Back in. Can't get it through. Saved by Milan. Back to Donaldson. Donaldson's the one with it. Now settles everything back. Minute 54 left on the five-minute major. Oshaway with it. Settling down. Taking his time. Letting the offense develop. Donaldson. Back to Oshaway. Oshaway to Smith. Smith Ooh. fires. And it's going to be a save. Shots in favor of the Bulldogs. 14-1. to 1. 12 minutes and 15 seconds left. The score is two to nothing here on ACSN. Robert Morris gets in and is able to clear. Barrett's gonna come way out of his net in order to play that puck. And Osh Osh Oshawa is gonna be the one that grabs it. Oshawa sends it up, buys there. there he go. breaks between two defenders, Ooh. but it's gonna be tipped away. Cross and slides in front of the goaltender, Milan, who doesn't have to do anything with it. It's tipped away now. One minute and 15 seconds left on the power play. Oshway's one with it. He hits it off the boards, tries to get it over. Nobody's there, but it's in the offensive zone. Fi goes after it, can't get to it. Fi already has a goal tonight. Donaldson has it now as it came way back at the length of the ice, and he's going to go behind Barrett now and set up the offense. Line change is happening, getting the matchup they want, and he's going to leave it for Kotek and go for a change himself. 50 seconds left on the five-minute major as Kotek brings it up. He pushes it up to Gillenbull, who drops it back for Severino. Severino comes in with speed. Deke. Looking for it, can't get it through. Saved by Milan as it wraps up against the netting. And we'll have a whistle. Now looking good out there with the Bulldogs right now. Moving the puck around good. Like you said, Robert Morris, they're trying to kill off these penalties right now and get something uh, happening down at the offensive side of the ice. Just not happening for them right now. With only one shot on goal all night with 11 minutes and 15 seconds here in the first period. And uh, the Bulldogs kind of setting the tempo, leading the way. You're listening to the Adrian College Sport Network. I'm Matt Kibbe, joined by Gary Vedito. The Bulldogs have it here. It's two to nothing with 11 minutes, five seconds left in this first period of action. 29 seconds left on the five-minute major. Shot goes above the net, can't get in. Moore's the one there. 
Robert Morris grabs it and clears it right down to Barrett. Barrett puts a stick on it and sends it the other way. Down in the far side corner in the defensive zone for the Bulldogs. Kotek has it. He's going to be the one that brings it up. Five on four here as Moore tries to deep. Can't do it. And it's sent back behind Barrett who comes out and settles it down. Kotek's the one with it. He's going to wrap back around the net as Robert Morris will return to full strength after killing the five-minute major. Five on five hockey here as Perkowski has it. He heads in. Dumps it back for Kuhn. Kuhn is there. Sends it back. To Perkowski, Frederick and Jelly with a quick shot. Can't get through as it hits off the blocker. Goon had it. Robert Morris is finally going down in the offensive attack. They four check it down. Can't get anything going. Shagase is going to be the one that grabs it and heads the other way with it. Frederick and Jelly hits it off the half wall for Robert Morris to take it back over. Perkowski comes in, goes after it. Robert Morris sends it across center line. Long pass dumped in. Number 54. Walton is the one that goes after it for Robert Morris. Frederick and Jelly grabs it now. He sends it across ice. Nobody there to help him. Robert Morris has it again. Sumps it in. Sent across. Hits off a referee and goes into the defensive zone. Shagase is the one with it. Bond grabs it. Bond settles behind the Barrett, the goaltender for the Bulldogs. He's 13-0 on the year. Having a fantastic year between the posts. Smith, Deke can't get through two defenders, but it's sent back away. Robert Morris with speed, grabs it, number 19 for them. Sends it wide. That was Malfita. Shagase sends it up. Smith is there, tries to get through three defenders, can't do it, it falls. Nolan has to be the one that goes after it. All right, correction, finger. Smith following behind, can't get anything going. Mainsey was the one that sent it up for Robert Morris, and Barrett's going to come behind his net and play it. Oshawa is going to be the one with it. He has it, letting the offense set up, gets the line that he wants. Stanko out there with Severino and Finger. Stanko has it. He sends it up to Severino. Can't get through. 8.45 left here in this first period of action. 2 to nothing. the score here on ACSN. I'm Matt Kibbe, joined by Gary Vetito, C.J. Wade, and Leonard Poole. Severino heads in, can't get anything going. Milan's going to come out and cover that. And we'll have a whistle with 8.31 left here in the first period of action. It could be tonight. Looks like right now the Bulldogs are definitely kind of controlling the tempo of this game. Robert Morris, they keep on trying to set up some offense, some offensive ice time, and it's just not happening right now. Again, with only one shot, but uh, I don't want to see the Bulldogs napping because Right now, uh, they've, they they have three wins against this Bulldog team lifetime, so they're looking for that fourth win tonight too. Five on three is the all-time five wins for the Bulldogs. Three losses is the all-time series against these Robert Morris Illinois Eagles, as they're the ones bringing it down. Oshawa grabs it. He sends it, dumps it. Severino's there to try and hit it and knock it down. No icing will be called as it's pinned behind Milan in net. Bulldogs looking to get something going here, can't do it. More, Robert Morris heads the other way with it. Cassetto shot hit off of Barrett and goes into the netting and we have some extracurriculars. It seems like just as soon as we start settling into this game, they want to start getting chippy down there again. But right now, oh, go ahead, please. Yeah, so, you know, the rankings came out this week, and what are some interesting facts about those rankings, Gary? You know, it, again, it's great to see you with uh, the Adrian College at top of ACHA again for the 10th straight week at number one. You know, they're having a great season again, another great year. Um, we've had an opportunity to talk to Coach uh, here the other day, and uh, that's some more information. I'd like to hear what you have to say from your meeting with Coach tonight. And, uh, again, stick around for inter uh, the intermission reports as well. Yeah, that intermission report will come up as it always does in between the first and second and the second and third as Moore is the one heading in with it now. Sends it across the ice, nobody there to hit it in. Kotak keeps it in the zone, and Milan is going to be the one that gloves it and hangs on. But again, with the, uh, we're seeing with Robert Morris, you know, they're, they're having some glimpses of opportunities to set up some ice time uh, down on the offensive side. So I think if they keep pushing, keep pushing, and – you know, maybe they will catch Barrett napping, but he's been uh, he's been on top of his game all all season, so I think he'll do pretty well. Slap shot off of the faceoff from Kotek, right from the far side point. Robert Morris grabs it now, and they're going to bring it along. Saw it far, cross ice pass. Kotek is going to be the one that has to go down in the far side corner on the south side of the ring. 
Stanko had it, sends it across ice. Nobody there for Perkowski, who was the intended target. Kotek going back to grab it behind Barrett, wrapping around the net, bringing it up. Center ice now crosses in the middle of the ice, right under the scoreboard, where it says two to nothing in favor of Adrian with 7:02 left. So yeah, going back to your uh, interview, Matt, that you had with Coach A. You know, there were some interesting facts that you brought up. Uh, you want to share something with us? Yeah, some of the cool stuff that I got to talk to. We got to talk about last week's series against Oakland where it was a very chippy matchup. It, it was. was it was a very fun and chippy match indeed. It was, and the Bulldogs were able to take two games there, one by the score of 6-3, to three, and then at Oakland they won 9-3. to three. It was a great series overall, but it was very chippy. And Coach said, you know, that helps us. They're not a chippy team by any sure. means, but, you know, you're going to have to go against teams like that and be able to handle them. Especially when you are physical, like yes. Bulldog hockey. Bulldog hockey is physical, but it's never any extracurriculars, and they've had to face that these last two weekends as there was a shot and Barrett gloved in and held on. But these last two weekends, seeing how this game is going so far in, as we have 6.46 left, you can see how it, it could change and how the physicality matters and how you have to be able to protect one another. No, you, both, you most definitely do, like you said, have to be there for one another. But with that part, you got to stay out of the box. And I know that's one thing that Coach A has said in the past that he wants to make sure they're tightened up on. Bulldogs have it now in the offensive zone. Big hit on the boards. And another oh, one given go. back. Delayed call coming on the rock on Adrian as the player is down and injured. We'll see how this goes here. See if everyone can stay out of the box. Looking for a call. So yeah, it looks like number 43 for Robert Morris. Uh, Jake Nishi, a, a junior forward, uh, down on the ice, slowly getting up, but he's moving over to the bench, and we'll see if he uh, goes back to locker room or hangs out on the bench for a second. Looks like he's going to go back to locker room to get checked out for a minute. Bond already headed back to the locker room for the Bulldogs as the referees have a situation here to figure out what's going on. Raski's the head official tonight, the referee, with the stripes in both black and white and orange. Now, again, trying to keep... Uh, Keep a handle on this game. We don't want to see no ejections, no silly penalties, no one get hurt. But, again, this is hockey, and it gets physical sometimes. So we'll see if we can uh, stay the course, play that, you know, great, aggressive, physical bulldog hockey, but stay out of that box. They've already put a five-minute major up on the board for the Bulldogs, and Bond, or correction there, yeah, Bond was the one that already headed to the locker room. So we're just figuring out referees over talking to Coach Estalos right now about what's been happening, and they're going to have to send a player to the box. Yeah, it looks like uh, Coach Estalos is not too happy about that decision too. So I'll see if I can get a minute with him here for the uh, first intermission and kind of ask him, you know, how uh, Seppet's doing as well as see how uh, uh, what's going on with the penalties and how how is that gonna, going to adjust his game plan kind of moving forward. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to check on Spate and then figure out what's going on here and how these referees are trying to handle this positioning. As Robert Morris was not happy about the call, and a good sign here as a player comes back from the Robert Morris locker room. That was Holt. I believe he was the one that took the hit, and he's back from the locker room. And that's always good to see. You know, we, we want the win, but we want everyone going home safe too. So a five-minute major put on the board for the Bulldogs. As Glim Spate is back in the locker room, just saw that from the far side. Robert Morris looking to get back in this game. Oh, and they do oh. with a goal through the five hole of Barrett, and that will cut this lead in half. No, right that, into it. No, that's that's huge for Robert Morris. You know, this they want to stay in this game. This is what they need to do is capitalize on these power play opportunities. And really, they cut this lead right in half. So we still got a lot of hockey left to play. Uh, this is no walk in the park again for the Bulldogs, like you mentioned earlier. Lifetime, they're five and three against this uh, Robert Morris Illinois team. But uh, you know, with these opportunities that they're going to continue to have for the next four minutes and 44 seconds, we'll see what happens. Four minutes and 44 seconds, five minute major means you have you can score at will as Barrett comes out of his net to play it on the far side. Stone's the one with it. He sends it the far way down the ice, 200 feet, all the way to Milan. Bulldogs looking to stay on the attack and keep the penalty kill as minimal as possible. 
Score is now 2-1 to one here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Behind the net now. Kent is the one pestering the Robert Morris. Robert Morris is with it now. Five on four hockey here for another four minutes trying to get everything going. I'm sure that seems like a lifetime for Coach Estalo, especially with a two to one lead right now. It is, it's a close game right now and some extracurriculars again after a tough point. And we're gonna get another penalty call here on the Bulldogs oh. and on Robert Morris it looks like. Oh, we see uh, Robert Morris right now shoot yourself in the foot by putting someone in the penalty box. That was a dumb penalty by them. But hey, we'll take it. So that's the way we're, it looks like we're going to be even strength for about two minutes right now. But he'll get out of the box if uh, nothing else happens. But I think uh, Bulldogs here need to capitalize on this even strength opportunity for them. So it'll be four and four hockey as Dalberg goes to the box. Number 17 for Robert Morris for two minutes for slashing. Two minutes of four on four hockey. There's still 354 left in the five minute major as Nolan is the one that has the face off. Now it's behind the net in the near side corner. Bulldogs have it, four on four hockey. The space has opened up. Nolan can't swipe it across, goes outside of the offensive zone and the Bulldogs left to reset. Kotek has it, tipped away by a Robert Morris Eagle. Nolan gets it again. Nolan sends it back to Stanko, then to Kotek. Kotek over to Nolan on the near side where Stanko takes it from him and heads right in front of us on the penalty box. Crosses over the blue line, Geeks. Sends back to Kotek. Kotek with a wrister wide. Oh, Smith shot. can't get it there. Too wide again on the blocker side of Milan. Nolan over to Kotek. Kotek with it at the point. Settling. Nolan has it now right in the middle of the zone. Kotek looking for something good here. Sends it back down to Stanko. Stanko over to Smith and then intercepted by an eagle and heading the other way. Walsh was the one with it. And Kotek takes it away. Walsh being picked, pestering down there, trying to get that puck back, can't do it. Nolan is with it again. Nolan heading up, sends it over to Kotek. Kotek has it, he passes it up to Stanko. Stanko gets hit, Severino has it now with speed. Shot! Goal! Severino with the score here. That's gonna be an even strength four on four goal here. With 3.59 left in the first period of action, the score is now 3-2-1 in favor of the Adrian College Bulldogs. Now, that was a great wrister by Salvarino. Put these Bulldogs up 3-1. to one. Again, capitalize on this even straight opportunity for them. After giving up a power play goal themselves just a, a minute and 20 seconds ago or more, or about a minute and a half ago. So it's good to see this lead be extended by another two goals. Back to where we were before the power play goal. Still 41 seconds left on the penalty to Robert Morris. 2.30 left in the penalty to the Bulldogs. Bulldogs won the faceoff. Stone has it. He sends it over. That's Oshawa. Severino with it. He brings it across the blue line looking for another one here. As he's pinned up against the board in the corner. Stanko came through and grabbed it. I apologize, that was Moore. Moore has it, sends it up. Oh. Another hit on the boards. Player slipped and Moore came on top of him. Oshawa is with it now. He's the defending himself against three players. Robert Morris will return to full strength and they'll be on the power play here for another minute 48. We'll get a whistle. Stone goes down. And there was an offsides call. So, yeah, going back to your conversation with uh, Coach Stylos, I think uh, one thing he mentioned, you said something about having their game legs back and everything else. Are you seeing that out there on the ice tonight, man? You know, right now, I am definitely seeing that. You got a chance to ask him that question last week, and he said, we'll see what happens. And, you know, I asked him again, are the game legs back? And he said, you know, I really feel like they are, but, you know, you can never tell until you're back in that game situation and playing. And I had asked him on a Wednesday, prior to this two game series so so far I would say yes keep up the good work stay focused on what's at hand here if you're the Bulldog if you're Robert Morris just try and get everything into the net try and fire you have an opportunity here with a minute 23 left on the penalty 
to try and get back into this game. It's 3-1 to one here on the ACSN Network. Bulldogs have it now as they cross the center line. Frederick and Jelly was going after it. Eagles dump it back to the far side. Oh, big hit gets right hit by Frederick and Jelly and a little extra shoving and pushing there as Frederick and Jelly has brought his physicality today. Coon has it now. He tries to cross it. Can't do it. Hits off of Robert Morris Eagle. Going the other way. Milan comes out and plays it, so no icing. It will be called off. Robert Morris crossing the center line, looking to get something going here. Can't do it. Misses wide. Doesn't even hit the goaltender. That was Cassetto. Bulldogs have it, trying to play some good defense here. Gets pushed behind. Kent was there. Stone sends it, wraps it around, gets out of the offensive zone. 24 seconds left on the kill. Malone comes way right out of his net. A good opportunity here for the Bulldogs and the Bull Eagles are able to clear. Milan came way out of his net to come and play then it almost backfired here with a minute 35 left. Sent long side, Milan comes out, gloves it and holds on. We'll get a whistle here and that, that is not something you usually see. A goaltender will usually not come out almost to the blue line in order to play a puck, but Milan, you know, insisted. That's what we have to do. Down in the offensive zone now. Stanko's the one taking the face off. Nolan has it at the point, can't get it by. Slips on the glove side of Milan. Bulldogs return to full strength. Donaldson's back on the ice. He skates way across center ice and goes back to the bench. Nolan has it now, sent up. Stanko. Perkowski was going after it. Now Kotek down in the bottom corner, almost with under a minute to play here. Kotek bringing it up, crosses the blue line, crosses the center line, going into the offensive zone, looking for something. Hangs onto it, hits off a of Robert Morris leg. Back up to Stanko, slap shot, can't tip in. Couldn't do anything there. Is a good save by Malone, almost tipped away. And Perkowski sends it back to Osh Oshawa. Oshawa has it. Kotek gets relieved by Dan Stone. 36 seconds left here in this first period of action. Bulldogs looking to make one final push here as the score is 3-1 to one on the Adrian College Sport Network. Perkowski has it. Sent across off the blade. Hops over the goaltender's net. And now it's in the far side corner. Stanko playing on the boards with it. Along the half wall. Big hit by Perkowski. Sent behind. No call. Now it crosses the center line, and with 10 seconds left, that should probably do it here. Stone takes it behind the net. Five seconds and counting left in this first period of action. Stone will hang on to it, and the buzzer will, sign, will sound, and we will head to the first intermission here. And after the period ends, we're going to have a penalty called by Rasky. See what that call will be. I believe it was called on Nolan for some extracurriculars at the end of that period. Let's see what happens here I'm, before we send it to break. Rasky was seeing something. I believe it was Nolan. I'll wait for the call when we get back. But the Robert Morris Eagles will start the second period on the power play. Some extracurriculars here. But you're going to want to stay tuned as we will have our intermission report here on the Adrian College Sport, Sports Network streaming on Adrian College TV YouTube channel and on WVAC Adrian 107.9 FM. Stay tuned. We'll be back with about seven minutes left in this intermission to talk to you about our thoughts and look forward to the second period. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the campus of Adrian College. I am Gabriel Schrey. Alongside me is my color commentating partner and good friend, Ian Wendt. Tyler DeWitt is here in the booth with us. Megan Abbey engineering today's game here on site. And the Bulldogs are here for homecoming. Today should be a great day for Adrian College athletics and Adrian College football. Luther. Class of 1983 for football.
Wisconsin Lutheran will get the football first from the 25, first and 10. Taking the give, Yaki throws it right side. Yes! Bulldogs! Bulldogs get yes! the football! here with Robbie Ginther, defensive tackle and long snapper for your Adrian College Bulldogs. How's it going today, Robbie? It's going good, man. You ready for the game today? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you look a little spiffy. I like, I, like this little, <laughs> I like this little get up you got going. You got to look nice for the fans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the first question I got for you is how has Adrian College football impacted your life? Uh, it's impacted my life a great deal. Um, basically came here, it's given me a great group of, group of guys to you know, hang out with and hopefully develop friendships after we graduate. And then the second question is, you're in accounting, right? Yes. So where is that going to take you after you're done here at Adrian College? Um, so right now I'm hoping that my accounting career will take me uh, to a big firm and then hopefully eventually I can move into working for a sports franchise. Okay, any like industry, like sports industry or franchise that would be like your dream goal? Detroit Lions would be. You know? Detroit Lions, how would you do that? Gotta work hard. And I'm not saying how would you do it, like why would you want to do that? <laughs> I've mean, always been a Lions fan, unfortunately. <laughs> it's football, so. Oh, that's rough. Is there any other, is there any other people that you'd like to shout out during this interview that has helped you along during this whole process to get you to this point in your life? Most definitely. Um, I just like to thank my family and my friends. Uh, even when times are tough, they always pick me back up and keep me going. So. And that is Robbie Ginther, Major College Bulldogs. In this video, we're going to talk about Net Classroom and how to view your schedule online. We'll also talk about how to check out the undergraduate catalog and view with the graduation requirements. First, you're going to want to log into One Login. Then open up Net Classroom and familiarize yourself with the tabs. Use the registration drop down menu and select your name schedule. Note that you can also view your schedule in grid mode. Make sure you select the correct semester on the sidebar. When viewing things for the curriculum, you'll want to go to adrian.edu and click on the tab Academics. Use the drop down menu to select Undergraduate Catalog. In this catalog, you can also find your major and how your core classes are set up. And this will be the catalog you use to check out graduation requirements. It's on page 32. 
and also view what kind of distributions you will need to graduate. They appear on the screen as follows. If you have any further questions, you can always ask your advisor during Welcome Week or throughout the year. We hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Awesome job, Leonard. Thanks All for right. bringing us back. I'm Thank bring you guys. Back. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. <laughs> that was Get Leonard Cole, headset. the top cam operator, doing a great job here on ACTV. Rock and rolling I'm, tonight. I'm Matt Gibby, joined by Gary Vento, and we're just having a great time here at the Men's Division One ACHA Hockey Game. Number one versus number 25, Robert Morris, Illinois, is here, the Eagles. It's 3-1 to one, currently in favor of the Bulldogs. When we come back, the Bulldogs are going to go on the, the penalty kill. Yes, you got a chance to yes. just talk to Coach Astalos, and what did he have to say? You know, again, something I want to almost highlight from all of our conversation, he really hates being in the penalty box, and you brought it up, like you said, we're going to be a man down right out the bat. So, uh, But, yeah, real quick with the intermission report, uh, I sat there and asked real quick how was Spate doing, and it sounds like he's going to be out for the rest of the game tonight. Um, also, going back to penalties, I, I, you know, I alluded to him, you know, is he going to make any adjustments? And he's like, no, but, you know, they, they need to play smarter hockey. Get back to Bulldog hockey, get out of the box. And that's where the, go the goal came from for Robert Morris is when the Bulldogs were down a man. So let's see uh, if Robert Morris can capitalize here uh, with the second period. And then finally, um, going back to, again to kind of Coach Stiles' character, I asked him, you know, you know, how's he feeling about these refs with all the calls that we've seen early on on the ice? You know, we got guys getting kicked off the ice, guys being pulled off the ice with injuries and this and that. Um, but again, he's, he's in a very positive mindset and you know, he said it is what it is, you know, calls are going to come and go sometimes in your favor, sometimes they're not, but ultimately you gotta, you gotta put your head down and get back to playing hockey and here with the Bulldogs, they like playing Bulldog hockey. They do. That's one of coach Asalo's key phrases is let's play Bulldog hockey. And they are able to do a great job at that. It's three to one right now. What do the Bulldogs need to do to keep expanding on their lead, Gary? So again, yeah, I think the first big thing is staying out of that box. 
while they still need to play that physical hockey that they're known for, uh, stay away from being chippy. Um, you know, no dumb penalties like we've talked about in the past. And, again, a pressure, 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 keeping those shots up on net. Right now they're up 19-5 to when it comes to shots on net. Uh, but for the flip side, for Robert Morris, these opportunities like they have right now, this two-minute penalty uh, in their favor, they need to capitalize on that and cut this uh, lead it down again in, in, uh, by one goal. That was what I was going to ask you next. What does Robert Morris's defense need to do now that you talked about the offense? What does the defense need to do in order to keep this game close? No, uh, that's, that's a very great point, Matt, because the, the Bulldogs have kind of been controlling the tempo on the offensive side of the ice tonight for them. Um, so Robert Morris, what they need to do, they need to match the Bulldogs' physical play. You know, and I, and I think it's helping uh, Robert Morris kind of getting in that head of the Bulldogs, you know, kind of messing them up a little bit, having those dump penalties again. So any chance that I don't want to say, you know, we, we don't want to see any dirty or silly hockey out there, but I think Robert Morris continued to be physical with the Bulldogs, kind of, you know, keep uh, being that bird in their ear, if you will, and uh, see if they can capitalize on some uh, silly mistakes and opportunities for them. Thanks for the awesome words of wisdom from Gary Veneto here on the Adrian College Sport Network, streaming over the Adrian College YouTube channel, which you're watching now, if you can see us, and listening on WVAC Adrian 107.9. We'll be back shortly for the second period of action. The score is currently 3-1 to one in favor of the number one Bulldogs. We hope you stay tuned and keep dialed in to the Adrian College Sport Network for this top 25 matchup here at Arrington Ice Arena. We'll be back shortly. Go Bulldogs. <laughs> second period so we'll see if Robert Morris can capitalize again on another Adrian College Bulldog penalty. Stanko is the one in the box he's going to be serving two minutes for slashing at the end of the second period and they will start Robert Morris will on the power play the puck is sent down as the Bulldogs are starting to go for the kill looking now to get something going is Robert Morris Robert Morris crossing the center line, but it's taken away by 10. Frederick and Jelly goes after it, but can't get to it. Robert Morris has it again, crossing back behind in their defensive zone. Looking to get something going here on the power play. Already over 30 seconds in to this second period. And the Bulldogs haven't let the Robert Morris offense get going. No, not at all. Again, no shots, like you said. Almost a minute into this penalty and no shots by Robert Morris. 
Great defense by Stone down in the corner on the near side. Robert Morris now has it behind the net. Kent comes in, can't do anything with it. That was Kuhn who tossed it aside and sent it back for the kill. Well, under a minute left in the power play for Robert Morris. They send it up, a deep can't get through. Now it's sent up, takes the shot, sends it down into the corner. Shot hits off of Kent. Another block shot from Kent, putting his body on the line here early on. Now it's sent behind the net for Robert Morris to set up behind and sends it back to the point. From the point, Monaco was the one that had it and he sent it across. Now it's outside of the offensive zone and the Eagles will have to reset. 20 seconds left in the power play for Robert Morris. Penalty is killed here as it's sent down and Milan grabs it and hangs on. So they will have 13 seconds here down in their defensive zone to try and get a push here to try and cut this deficit down. Not a great power play if you're Robert Morris, but a great penalty kill for the Bulldogs. No, that's great to see with Coach Stiles' team and the Bulldogs kill that penalty there. But again, Robert Morris, if they want to stay in this game, they need to capitalize on these opportunities. And with really one weak looking shot that went wide, that's not going to happen. Robert Morris has it now. Five seconds left here in the power play for them. They're just trying to get down in the offensive zone and hang on to possession. It's taken away now. Stankos back out of the box, sent up to Moore. Moore crosses into the offensive zone. A little deep, sent it back to Stanko. Intercepted as it was heading that way. Stanko has it behind the net. Robert Morris takes it away and heads up the other way with it. Cross down ice. This should be called icing, and it is. And already I'm looking across the ice, Matt, to see if we got any uh, talk out there between the players, see if anyone wants to get chippy. But I think uh, that intermission for both teams was a good chance for them to kind of catch their breath, get their emotions in check, and get back to their game play. So I think uh, the Bulldogs might have an upper hand here being even strength again. I think so as well. With the even strength now, they'll be setting up their own offense here as they're good in any situation, special teams or even strength. They're able to make their offense work. All season long. Barrett comes out to play over to Stone. Severino intercepted by an eagle, and Stone takes it away, and we're going to get a penalty call here. here. Another Bulldog, I believe, will be heading to the box. That's what it's looking like in Oshway. He wasn't very happy about the call. We'll see who in, ends up in the box, but, yeah, we're already seeing frustrations out there by the Bulldogs. Hooking was the call. Donaldson's going to be the one that heads to the box, number 24 for the Bulldogs. He's kind of looking around like, I don't think it was me, but he'll be the one serving the two minutes. So the Bulldogs will go back on the penalty kill for another two minutes after just getting off of it a short second ago. A quick shot off of the faceoff, and Barrett gets a glove save and a whistle. And you're seeing this already out of the uh, off the faceoff with Robert Morris already having a good-looking shot on net. And, again, this is what the Bulldogs want to stay out of but this is where uh, uh, Robert Morris, this is a, a great opportunity for them again. Bulldogs win the faceoff. They're going to look to kill. It's sent down, hit down by a Robert Morris eagle, but it still makes it the length of the ice and goes down. We're going to get a high stick call here, so we will reset and have another faceoff with 147 left in the power play, 17-13 left here in the second period of action. It's good to see this faceoff taking place down in the Robert Morris' defensive end. Help the Bulldogs kill this penalty off some more. They win the faceoff, which will help even more as it's sent behind to Kuhn. Kuhn is there. Robert Morris takes it away as he was pinned up against the board. So they'll be coming down with speed. Four on three developing here as Kuhn comes back in. Onside play is Robert Morris. Tries to send it back. Has to pin it up against the board. Great play there by Kent to keep it in. It's going to escape the offensive zone for them and head down to Milan who's there to grab it. Robert Morris has possession of it again, but Perkowski takes it away and we have a delayed call coming. Sent the other way and we'll get a whistle. Hooking is the call. Now looks like tail the tape tonight might be all these penalties, Kibby. I think uh, and the way the game's going, the tempo that I'm seeing, I don't want to forecast it, but I think this is going to be a close game if we keep seeing people in and out of the box all throughout the night. 
Kreitz is the one who goes to the box for two minutes for hooking. It will be four on four hockey here for a minute 10. And Fife, Fife, Fife. Fife. <laughs> we apologize for that. Paul Fife is the one who commented on the YouTube. Shout out you on the YouTube it. comment. Shout out for helping us out. We apologize. I've been messing it up for I don't even know how many weeks now. <laughs> and we just get the correction. So thank you, Mr. Fife, for helping us out here. Your son was able to win the faceoff, but RMU has it now as we head the other way. Four on four hockey here for another 44 seconds as Smith takes it. And Milan's going to be the one there that covers go. it. And a little bit of there extra pushing and shoving as Smith takes the man to the ground. And we will just have a simple whistle and head the other way. And it looks like Chris Mullen, he might have took a stick to the face or something. He's down on the ice right now, face down, legs flailing, not, not looking too healthy. We'll see. Uh, we might have to get someone out there on the ice to take a look at him. So Smith is going to head to the box as Milan is down on the ice. Trainer's coming out to help. Trainers on the ice now. You know, we're going to take a quick second here to show you guys the new map promo. Or actually, we're going to show you our TV open. We'll take a break here and allow for the injury to take its course. come out and play the puck early four on three hockey here for another 26 seconds as Robert Morris is looking to get back into this game down by two three to one the score here with 15 45 left in this second period of action I'm Matt Kibbe joined by Gary Veneto here on the Adrian College Sports Network streaming on Adrian College TV YouTube channel as well as on WVAC Adrian 107.9 FM Barrett with a big save in front able to get the puck out of the back of the net it is now four on four hockey here as Donaldson is back on the ice. Another shot, Barrett, with what another save. save. Three to what one. Donaldson grabs it. He's coming across the center line with speed, looking to get something going. Tipped away from him. Another hit on the board. Donaldson was able to kill some more clock there as there is still 33 seconds left in the RMU penalty, and they will head back and get five on four hockey here. But with four on four ice hockey, we will get an icing call, and it will head down into the RMU zone. You know, man, it was great to see Robert Morris's keeper get back up after being down there for a minute. Looked like he had definitely had a better day, but again, great to see him up. Great to see both teams uh, give him applause along with the rest of the, uh, uh, the viewers out here today there to support him. 
Robert Morris was able to win the faceoff here. 15 minutes even left in this second period of action. It's sent down the other way. And now Kent has it for the Bulldogs. He's looking to get something going here. He crosses it over, back over. Finger has it. Finger looking to get shot and a oh, save shot. with four on four hockey. Milan has the save here. Nine seconds left on the RMU penalty. Three to one the score here on the Adrian College Sport Network. I'm Matt Kibbe joined by Gary Vetito. We got Leonard Poole operating our top cam, doing a great job as always. And CJ Wade over here learning about play tectonics. <laughs> I thought she was our director. Now she's studying. She's our director, but now she's <laughs> learning about play tectonics. Kent Multitasking. has the face off, and it's at the point. Kuhn is there, grabs it, and brings it back out. The Eagles are back at full strength now as the Bulldogs will go on to the penalty kill. Down in the far side corner. Sent down to Milan. Milan comes out of his net and plays it, sets it up there. Kuhn comes back with speed and a big, big hit on the board as RMU will still take it the other way. Set up now. Taken away now. Frederick and Jelly sends it back beyond the net. And he's going to go for a change. And the Bulldogs are able to kill off this penalty. Bulldogs now will return to five on five hockey. Here as we Smith go. is back on the ice with speed. And RMU looking to get something going here. Can't find the puck. It's up in the air. Brings back down. Chagasay has it. Sends it up. Oh, Fight here we go. Goes in there. More deep. Can't do it. Five oh! Way to stay with your shot, fight. Way to stay with your shot. Great job. I believe Moore was the one credited with the goal, but it looked great anyway. It snuck through the five hole of Milan, and it was making this lead four to one. A great job there by the Bulldogs of Adrian to extend the lead with 13.50 left here in the second period of action. Now, again, it's great to see the Bulldogs another even strength goal like we talked about earlier. They're really kind of in the driver's seat when it comes to even strength hockey but Robert Morris they had three shots on that with a couple of their penalty plays but again just too much for the Bulldogs Bulldogs just too much Bulldogs now lead 4-1 to one with 13-44 left here Fife has it he's heading down with it crosses the center line dumps it and the Eagles are going to grab it in return they're in the far side corner in their zone another shot from the point that was Nolan Kuiper was the one with it for RMU, and a big hit from Nolan right in front of the benches. And Perkowski has it. He's going to look for a spot. Fife couldn't slap it in. Good opportunity, but couldn't do it. Kotek has it now. He sends it up to Fife. Fife has it. Goes the other way with it to Perkowski. Perkowski over to Glimble, the captain for this Bulldog team. Glimble has it again after a pass from Fife. Shut up! Glimble gets the goal on the assist from Fife, and that was going to extend this lead by four goals. No, that was a great backhand by Fife. What a shot. And the RMU Eagles are going to encourage for a goalie shift, and they're going to have the goalie change. Coming in now is going to be Smith. Milan's day is done after giving up five goals, not even halfway through this game yet. So Smith will relieve him and take over the rest of this game. 12.57 left here in this second period of action. Five to one the score here on the Adrian College Sport Network. Smith sees his first action as he swipes the puck away the other way. Bulldogs are going to put the pressure back on him and not allow him to think anything else. Bring him into the game. Somewhat cold, had to stretch a little bit. But a good opportunity here for the Bulldogs to keep pressuring the new goaltender. Glimble has it now. Brings it back. Donaldson shot. Go! Go! Donaldson with the shot and the score. And the assist from Glimble right after the goalie change. Now here we go, Kibby. The Bulldogs are really starting to open it up right now with a 6 to nothing lead. These last three goals really back to back to back. This is great to see them playing some Bulldog hockey again. This is the definition of Bulldog hockey here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Six to one is the score as right after Smith came into the net, they are able to get a goal on him. One of the first shots he saw gets by him and now the score is six to one in favor of the number one ranked Adrian College Bulldogs. Yeah, Smith out of Germany, a senior, you know, with him being uh, right here in the hot seat, he had to face it right off the bat, and well, he let one go by already. So 
Again, we got 12.30 left here in the second period with a five-goal lead of 6-1. to one. We'll see if the uh, Bulldogs can continue on with their game plan of playing smart hockey, playing physical hockey, staying out of the penalty box, and keep the shots on net. All five going down to greet Barrett, who's been playing great so far. Only has seen nine shots, eight of them saved. The score is six to one. 24 shots for the Bulldogs, six goals. 12.30 left here in the second period of action. I think that's a good point, Matt. I think with uh, Barrett doing a great job back there in net for the Bulldogs tonight. Yeah, he made some eight saves, but those are some really good eight saves. Roger Morris, they've had some really good shots on that when they've had that opportunity. So we're off here, 12.25 now left as Robert Morris has possession of the puck, looking to dig out of a deep hole that has been created. Six to one is the score here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Taken away right before it entered the blue line, but it's taken away. Stanko has it now, we have a penalty call. Once again, the knee maybe? It looked like a tripping signal, but we're gonna wait and see. Oshaway is gonna be the one going to the box for two minutes for I believe that is Neen. Yeah, and he didn't look too happy about that either on his way to the box, but I think he uh, he took the high road and, and did a good job of putting his, uh, I want to say, put his head down and got in the box. He wasn't happy about it, but he doesn't need to get chippy and thrown out of the game either. No, you got to be smart here as you're getting down to the wire. You got a 6-1 to lead. Frustration may start to mount for Robert Morris as we get another whistle here. Yeah, if Robert Morris has any hope to this game, they need to continue to chirp in the ear of the Bulldogs, see if they can get them off their game, see if they can get them in the penalty box and even off the ice. But again, they don't want to see that. Bulldogs don't want to see that. They want to see this lead continue to grow. Face off down in the Bulldog zone on the blocker side of Barrett. And the Robert Morris wins it. Shot gets beyond the net, goes on the blocker side, misses. Another big hit on Chagase down behind Barrett. Robert Morris has it now at the point, looking to get something going here. Monaco had it taken away. And now Holt, or correction, Passato is going to be the one with it down to the point. Now behind the net. Coach is the one with it, up two. And it's going to oh, skip over with a minute 30 left here. Robert Morris heading in again, looking to get something going here. Can't do it. Shot tipped off of a blade of Kent and heads behind the net. Doesn't even reach Barrett. Robert Morris still with it, looking to set something up. Five on four here for another minute, 14. Chagasay is going after it, can't get to it. Robert Morris will remain possession. Sent back up, now in the near side wall. Shot hit off of Chagasay's stick and goes wide into the opposite corner. Robert Morris trying to set up their offense here, can't seem to do it. Bulldogs being feisty here as Frederick and Jelly pinned them up against the boards. Chagase is the one with it now, looking to get something going. Can't do anything, trying to clear it here with still 40 seconds left. The slap shot misses in a whiff by the Robert Morris defenseman, Monaco. Yeah, and everyone in the stand let him hear it too. They did, they made sure to let him hear that. They let him know, you whiffed on that puck. <laughs> Big swing and a miss. So now Robert Morris has it again. 25 seconds left in the man advantage here. They were looking to get something going. A little bit of confusion on where that puck was going, but now they have it again going in on Barrett. Taken away by Stone. Great defensive stand by the Bulldogs here with 12 seconds left on the power play, looking great as they always do in special teams. That's what they pride themselves on. Great job there by Nolan to knock the puck away. Doesn't escape the zone, though. Another shot misses wide. Stone with it. Oh, Oshaway comes back on the ice, and it's going to be sent down to him immediately. He pokes it up to Finger. Finger has it now looking to peek in on three defensemen. But it's taken away and intercepted. Smith tried to come over and do something with it, but couldn't have it. Shot save in front of the net. Finger is going to have it. So, yeah, again, I think at the uh, intermission report, I want to hopefully have a word with Barrett and see how he's doing from his perspective on the ice, seeing how he has to stay fresh, kind of maintain this uh, one goal that he's had all night, and uh, hopefully I'll have some good stuff to feed back with you later on to, for the intermission report. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that with about seven minutes left in every intermission. We come back on the airwaves and give you our intermission report here on the Adrian College Sport Network and ACTV. You're going to want to stay tuned and listen to what we have to say as we give you highlights talk about what has happened and we have a 
whistle for icing. Talk about what happened in the previous period and what we're looking forward in the next period. We already had our first minute, first intermission report. It was a great success as it always has been. And the second intermission report will come up between the second and the third period as always. And then at the end of the game, you're going to want to yeah. stay tuned because Check we bring in. up Coach Estalos to talk about his thoughts of the game in a quick couple se couple question segment before we go into our full on post game show. A great little service he does for ACTV here at the end of the game. You know, coaches know how important what we do for them is, and Coach Estalos is no different. He's very aware of everything. He was so willing and helpful. We have a delayed call coming against Robert Morris as there was a big hit down on the far side corner. He's so helpful and was so willing to set up a weekly meeting with me and you yeah. to go over what has been happening as the Robert Morris player, Walton, is going to head to the box for two minutes here. You, know, and you, you see that, Kibby, the, the way his interaction with ACTV, the two of us, and, and really it's reflective on of his team as well too. Yes. So he's a great leader, a great coach, and just a great person overall. And it's, uh, I know the, the Bulldogs are very happy to have him, uh, again, with this successful program. And I'm looking forward to that end-of-the-game report, having him back up here again tonight. We're always looking forward to that report. You know, we're very fortunate here at ACTV to have – anything along those lines of how supportive everybody in the athletic department is of us and how willing to work with us they are as we bring you every athletic event on the campus of Adrian College and we're very proud to do so. I'm Matt Kibbe joined by Gary Vettito as Severino slips and falls on the ice. Ice can tend to be a little bit slippery on those one eighth inch blades. Moore sends it up. Glimble has it now. Power play for the Bulldogs. Sent back to Moore. 130 left in that power play, Glimble has it again. He's deking around looking for somebody to pass it over to. He's on the half wall near, near side right in front of us in the offensive zone. Glimble has it now back to Moore. Nolan up at the point, back to Kotek, slap shot. Oh, Puts off of Smith, can't right find the there. net. Smith pokes it away in the Robert Morris Eagles are able to clear. Barrett comes far out of his net in order to get to that puck. And Nolan's gonna go after it and bring it back. He's gonna leave it there as Donaldson's the one grabbing it. Donaldson bringing it up now, looking to get something going. It's Smith, who has it now, bringing it in with speed across the blue line, looking behind, wraparound opportunity, sends it back up to Nolan. Nolan swipes it across over to Donaldson. Donaldson sitting with it, stick handling as well as all his ability, as Smith has it now on the far side half wall. Back over to Donaldson, long pass cross ice, back down to Stanko, who's looking to get something going. Ooh, Ooh brings it out into the slot, and Smith couldn't get a good blade on it in order to send it at Smith, the goaltender. Smith on Smith is happening now as the goaltender change happened. Milan was relieved of Smith after he gave up his fifth goal. Smith came in and gave up a goal immediately on his first shot to make the score six. And it gets up goal. another. What a Smith shot. With the goal. There we go. We got five. He makes his way to the scorecard once there again. There we go. As this lead is now 7-1 to one with 7.20 left here in the first period or second period of action. Yeah, let's go Bulldogs. Love to see this hockey play. And that's one thing I want to mention when we had the man advantage with that power play there. It was good to see the Bulldogs taking their time, setting up their offense, execute, execute, execute. And again, I think it paid off in the second time back down here on the ice with that goal. A great job there by the Bulldogs to now extend this lead to six as they win the faceoff and head the other way with it. Frederick and Jelly has it. It's tied up at center ice. Bulldogs are playing great hockey today against these Robert Morris Eagles. They'll play again tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We'll be here on the call. As we have a rare ACHA home series. Normally they are home and away as the slap shot came from Kent down at the point. And a big save by Smith to keep it out of his back. And then, that, like I said, normally these are home and away right. series. But we get the rare opportunity here with Robert Morris being farther away. They're able to come here, stay the night. We'll play again tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Yep, and I think it's going to be an exciting game tomorrow, Kibby. I know right now we got a 7-1 lead, but Robert Morris, they're going to come back tomorrow strong. You already see him be, continue to be physical and chippy and in the ear of the Bulldogs and everything else, so I think we're going to have another exciting game tomorrow. Uh, Faceoff is won by the Eagles of Robert Morris as they're trying to bring it up and cut into the deficit any way they can. Having it now, that's going to be Mofita. Mofita sends it back up to the point, but Fife is there to poke it away, but it can't get it out of the zone. Chagasay was going after it, and now over in the corner, Kent is battling on the half wall in the far side corner. Big hits coming in, two on two, a player loses his glove. That was 
Kent who lost it. He's going to go and recover it as the Bulldogs try and clear it. Can't get it out of the zone, and then it's Here done. Go. Fife is going after it with Perkowski. Perkowski comes in, tries to poke it away, can't do it. And Moore goes to the ice trying to poke it away. Another big hit in front at center ice as Robert Morris is going after it. Ashley and Stanko were credited with assist, assist on the Fife goal, and we're going to get a whistle here. And you're already breaking up some action. Yeah, again, with the referees hustling down there, getting right in the mix of everything, making sure everyone's tempers are not flaring and kind of keeping everyone uh, focused on hockey and not the extracurricular activities tonight. You know, that's always something we want to look at. We always want hockey to be the main focus point. We don't need the extracurriculars when you really think about it. There's 5.58 left right. in this period and a whole another 20 minutes of a third period Absolutely. Left. No, it's it's definitely part of the game, but we don't want to make that the focus. We want to focus on hockey, whether it's physical, hard-hitting hockey, but we don't need all the extras because that just gets people in trouble and off the ice. Trying to make something work here is the Bulldogs as they head the other way with it. Glimble, the captain, has it. He pushes it over to Donaldson. Donaldson looking for a shot, and he does, but it misses high and wide. Kotek comes back and grabs it. Severino tips it down to Glimble. Glimble has it now behind the net, back in front to Donaldson. Can't do anything with it. Donaldson going after it now. He's hanging on to it. Cross ice pass to Nolan. Nolan puts a wrist shot on, misses wide. Past the leg pad of Smith. Kotek pushes it down to Severino. Severino to Donaldson's leg pad save by Smith. Nolan has it again. Over to Kotek, right at the NCAA logo on the ice. Whiffs on it and then sends it down beyond, behind the net. Donaldson goes after it with pressure. 5-11 left here. 7-1 to the score here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Streaming on WVAC, Adrian 107.9 FM, and the Adrian College TV YouTube channel. I'm Matt Kibbe, joined by Gary Vetito. Leonard Poole's over on our top cam, and CJ Wade's our director. Kotek has it now, looking to get something going. Shot, can't do it. Misses wide. It was off the stick of Stanko in front. He tried to tip it in. Stanko sends it back to Finger. Finger has it now. Finger sends it, pokes it back. Can't do anything with it. Smith is there. Correction, Stone. My apologies. Kotek going after it. At center right. Has it going with it. Holding on to it. Kotek's been playing great these past couple of weekends. Wouldn't you say, Gary? No, absolutely. Kotek has been having a heck of a game the last few weeks. And really all season, he's been looking really strong. It was tried to push it in front of the slot, but Smith couldn't get to it quick enough to poke it in, and then Smith was able to cover it. No, again, Smith, Smith has really been working hard back there in the net for Robert Morris. You know, he came in into the hot seat with a big deficit, you know, already let a goal or two in already, and uh, but he's doing all right. He's uh, he's staying in the game. He's doing the best he can to keep his team in, but again, this, this six-goal deficit, that's a big hill to climb. Bulldogs win the faceoff, and it was tried to be tipped in. That was Kuhn in front, but Smith was able to poke it away. Robert Morris has it now, trying to get out of the defensive zone and push it the other way, and they do. It crosses the other side. No icing will be called as Oshawi goes after it. Oshawi over to Kuhn. Kuhn gives it up to Fife, and Fife go is the one that goes in. He has to go up against four Robert Morris defenders, but he's able to pass it back to Oshawi, Osh and Oshawi has it now. Oshway pushes it in front, crosses it, slides in front of everyone. Nobody can put a broom on it. Oshway's over with it, tries to slide it in front again. Let's go! is finding his way to the scorecard, and now the lead is 8-1. to one. It is, yeah, Kibby. again, we're playing Bulldog hockey right now, and it's great to see they're, they're moving the puck around well, moving across the ice very nice, setting up their offense having their players be where they need to be. And again, Kuhn in the right place at the right time for the right shot into the back of the net. And like you said, he got himself on the scorecard. And it's great to see this seven goal lead right now with the Bulldogs. I got to give a huge shout out to the Adrian College Pep Band. Oh, they're rocking they're tonight. They come out here and do They're rocking tonight. As they were over, they played a beautiful national anthem. They did. And they were able to be here tonight and play us some awesome live entertainment music. For all eight goals. All eight goals. They have had to play the fight song. And you tell you what, you can never get tired of the Adrian College fight song. Melvin, they've been doing a darn fine job tonight. Now looking to get more going in there. Perkowski's going after it. He has it, sends it back over. I believe that's more down there, and it is. And we have a delayed call coming against Robert Morris. Oh, 
So here we go again. Another opportunity for the Bulldogs. We'll see uh, what they can do, see if they can capitalize, build upon this lead. And I think what, what's what's interesting to me tonight compared to some of the other games in the past, Kibby, right now we've had 30 shots on goal to nine. I know we've been up close to the three digits in the past, but we have a very good lead right now. So I think not only are we having a lot of good shots, we're having a lot of great shots on goal that have been uh, converting into uh, – uh, goals tonight, so it, it's been great to see it with the Bulldogs really capitalizing on their opportunities and making the best of what they have. Bulldogs win the faceoff. They go on the power play as Walsh headed to the box for Robert Morris. Didn't get a chance to see the call. We'll wait for the official wording over the PA system. The goose down there in the penalty box to be the PA announcer, so we will wait for that. Shagase with it over on the glove side, shot, Frederick and Jelly couldn't tip it in. Finger has it now, looking to get something going, can't do it in front and Smith. Shot and a goal! Oh, goal. Hey, goal. Cue the band, cue the, the band! Finger. Cue the band is Cue nice. the band! With a minute 31 left on the power play, the Bulldogs are able to get a score and extend their lead to eight goals with 2.46 left here in the second period of action. No, absolutely, and going back to what I had to say earlier, uh, a second ago it was 30 shots, now it's 31 shots. Well, that one shot difference was that one goal difference, and that's where we're at right now. Nine goals to one, great eight point lead for the Bulldogs. Very exciting to see these quality opportunities by the Bulldogs. Great job here by the Bulldogs in order to keep extending their lead, putting their foot down and not letting up on the gas. Shen in front, the pressure is Boiling over here through the Robert Morris Eagles is pinned against the back of the net and we'll get a whistle. Yeah, again, just another quick little shout out, Matt, here with the next intermission. I'm gonna go talk to our, our goalkeeper, uh, Barrett, and I wanna ask him a few questions kind of from his perspective and his view. Also stand fresh, because I know he doesn't wanna let anything by any el anything else tonight. He doesn't like to even see that one goal let in. So I'd like to have this conversation and share that with you later. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting to hear about the conversation. Shot the goal! No. Another one. Let's go, Ben. Let's that go, Ben. The is the one that's going to put the goal through the five hole of Smith. And it is now 10 to 1 in favor of the number one ranked Bulldogs. Oh, I feel for the Robert Morris goalies right now. Neither of them have been able to figure this out against the Bulldogs. And I think that has to do with some of their offense and defense as well, too, for Robert Morris. Well, I know they're not going to be happy about this uh, loss tonight. That's kind of, I know we still have. Two minutes left in the second period and a whole nother period left, but this, that's a big hill to climb with 10 to one. It is, you can sometimes just have to think it could be possible. Robert it's sports. Morris, it, it is sports, you, you never, never know, know what could happen. But the Bulldogs have it now as they're gonna drive it the other way. The 22 and 0 Adrian College Bulldogs are looking to keep extending their winning streak here in this season, the 2019-2020 season. As Smith goes in, tries to put it in. Kotek comes in with a slap shot and a nice save by the goaltender, Smith. He came out of his crease to stop that slap shot. Gary Veneto is on his way down to talk to the goaltender, Michael Barrett and Coach Gary Estalos about this second period of action and what we look forward to in the third period of action. Face off down in the offensive zone for the Bulldogs. It was on the glove side of the goaltender, Smith, as Robert Morris is looking to push for the first time in a long time. Sent down into the offensive zone for the Eagles, but the Bulldogs were able to grab it and bring it back out. Kotek has it, sends it up to Donaldson. Donaldson pokes it up in the air with a pitchfork style and was offside with it. So we will have a whistle in a quick break with a minute 41 left here in the second period of action. The scoring margin for Adrian so far this year, they're plus 145 when it comes to a scoring margin, and that is just impressive in any nature of the beast. Bulldogs have the puck now as they hang on to it. A minute 30 left here in the second period of action. Ashaway has it. Oshaway with it, pokes it over to Stone. Stone slides it back over to Oshaway, and he pushes it up front to Finger. Finger up to Smith, and Smith, Deke, 
One hand, holds on to it, wrap around, puts it in front, nobody there. Robert Morris with it, and they're trying to bring it out. Good stand by Smith, who pokes it away and gets it back. Great hands there, and a shot and a save by Smith. Stankel tried to come in and put it in the back of the net, couldn't do it. We are now under one minute to play as Robert Morris is looking to push into the offensive zone. Barrett comes out of his net, wraps it around his own net, and sends it back. Now Stone is the one with it. He's the one pushing forward with everything he's got. Robert Morris tips it away, intercepted. Can't push away, though, as Robert Morris is going behind the net, their own net, to bring it out as the Bulldogs are going for a change. Eagles with a shot, Barrett with the save. Another save by Barrett. And it's heading in, dumped away now. 20 seconds and counting left in the second period of action. Fife is with it. Fife hangs on to it in front of the bench and then dumps it in. Robert Morris is the one that grabs it, sends it the other way. Robert Morris pinned up against the board. Kuhn was the one with it. And Fife tried to hacksaw it away. And the buzzer is going to sound, ending this second period of action. The score is currently 10 to 1 here on the Adrian College Sports Network. I'm Matt Kibbe. I'm joined by Gary Vettito. We'll be back shortly for the second intermission report as we wait and see what Gary has to tell us when we come back. He's going to interview Michael Barrett and Coach Gary Estalos and bring that back for our intermission report here on the Adrian College Sport Network. You're tuned in on the Adrian College TV YouTube channel as well as on WVAC Adrian 107.9. We'll be back shortly to give you our thoughts on this second period and look forward to the third period of action. Alright, let's do what we've been wanting. Yeah. 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 Come on, this up. I'm going to be watching you. One, two, two. You know what to do. Hail, hail to Adrian, the home of the black and gold. Cheer, cheer for Adrian. And I will try and go, 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 fight, fight for Adrian. And champions again we will be. Our heroes will score and the crowd will roar another for victory. Hail, hail to Adrian, the home of the black and the gold. Cheer, cheer for Adrian, the entire boys proud and bold. Go, 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 fight, fight for Adrian. And champions again will be. Our heroes will score and the crowd will roar another for victory. Woo, woo, woo. My boy. Woo! amazing experience you get to see all the different types of play that they have like they play a lot different here i think it's really really like deep rooted in all of us um i have my family at adrian so i think to me it's my second home so to be a bulldog on this team is a lot oh, adrian, I wanna be like you. 
Um, it's pretty unreal. Um, not a lot of colleges have this experience, and these are my best friends, so doing something like this with them is pretty awesome. My teammates are my family. To get to experience everything with them and see these breathtaking views, it's just life changing. I'm always going to remember this trip. different kind of like soccer player over here it's a different style different speed like obviously there's a language barrier too and I think it just really helped our team grow like both of skills and seeing different styles of play program um, never give up like always like we have a team all behind us we have 29 girls and you come in you have best friends on the team you have best friends right away and everyone's competitive but everyone is so close you fight you work hard so you're also family it's awesome <laughs> Feeling the strain, all in shape. Oh, give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I want to get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Won't you take me away? Understand the things I can do. The world outside looks so unkind. And I'm counting on you. You can carry me through. Tell me you get along when it's cold outside. Tell me that you're lonely. Where are we getting by? Need to know it. Every time that you hear my name, it ain't the same without me, girl. Tell me you get lonely. Sometimes you're up all night crying over me. You gotta take off a word. Get you up on your sleep, but that just don't work now, does it, baby? So tell me you get lonely when it's cold outside. Tell me that you're lonely, barely getting by. Need to know it hurts every time that you hear my name. It ain't the same without me. So I am one of eight children and I'm actually the oldest so um, my parents had me when they were teenagers and uh, both of them didn't end up going to college just because they didn't have that opportunity. So I think um, 
just like you know with the struggle and the impact on like financial aid was a little bit hard for me which is why I chose to go to community college just because I didn't think I was going to be able to afford Adrian so when I ended up coming here I had so much help from the financial aid just with like we want you to be here we want you to stay here like you shouldn't be given you know these restrictions just because you can't afford to go to college just like me being here I kind of want to give back to them and I want to make everybody proud so if I could thank them it would be just to say that <laughs> you're giving me the opportunity to become something that I thought I never would ever become in my life and I am Adrian College. We are AC. AC. Arena here on the campus of Adrian College. I'm at Kibbe, joined by Gary Vatito. Gary, you got a chance to interview the goaltender Barrett, Michael Barrett, and what did he have to say to you? Yeah, no, great interview down there, uh, um, there at center ice with uh, Michael Barrett again. And I asked him a few questions again, kind of wanted to change up. Usually we talk to Coach Stylus, got a chance to talk to our goalie tonight. So I asked him from his point of view down there on, on the ice, what's been happening tonight? A couple, couple things he touched on. Boys are really clicking tonight. The D zone's been stellar. The off offense has been really impeccable. Also, I asked him, you know, what's he got to do to stay alive, stay fresh? You know, and again, he's, he said he's been in this position time and time again all season long. It's just kind of another day at the office, so he's got to keep playing his game. And then again, how does he have to kind of keep this lead, not let any goals in the net? And he said again, you know, stay away from daydreaming back there in the net because sometimes with a big lead like this, that can happen. But ultimately for him, it's about keeping his head, staying fresh. But again, a really, he gave a really good shout out to his boys on the ice, saying they, they've been looking great tonight from his point of view and everything else. That's awesome to hear. It's currently 10 to 1 here 
on the Adrian College Sports Network, streaming on Adrian College TV's YouTube channel, as well as on WVAC Adrian 107.9 FM. It's a good game so far. The Bulldogs Great have a 10 to 1 lead. Not much more you can ask them. Well, maybe to stay out of the box. What would you say there, Gary? Yeah, no, I agree again with that, KB. I think that's kind of Coach Astalos' big uh, 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 message throughout this game and probably the game tomorrow is staying out of the box, keep the commanding lead, and, you know, again, stay with Bulldog hockey. You know, we're going to wrap it up. We got started a little bit later, and we want to make sure we give enough time for us to get prepared for the second period. So we're going to wrap it up now after you got a chance to talk to the goaltender, Barrett. We'll be right back here on the Adrian College Sports Network in order to bring you the final period of action as the teams are getting ready and ramped up to start. 10-1 to 1 in lead in favor of the Adrian College Bulldogs. You're going to want to stay tuned. We'll be right back on ACSN. <laughs> Because now you're a graduate of Adrian College, or soon to be. And because of that, you move into a distinctive class of Americans. You are now part of the educated elite of America. People will have more expectations of you, higher expectations of you, more need of you than you probably realize right now. People will already start turning to you, looking at you, watching you, listening to what you say, because what you... Welcome back to the campus of Adrian College. On the Adrian College Sports Network, we have Adrian College Bulldogs, the number one ranked team in the land against the number 25, Robert Mor Morris University at Illinois, the Eagles of Robert Morris. We're here on the Adrian College Sports Network. I'm Matt Kibbe, joined by Gary Veneto. Our top cam tonight is Leonard Poole, and our director, and local geologist is C.J. Wade. <laughs> I like that spin on that. Right off of the faceoff, Moore came down and was able to put a quick shot on the goaltender, Smith. Like I said, the score is currently 10-1 to 1 as we get started here in the final period of regulation. You got a chance to talk to the goaltender, Barrett, for those of us, for those who weren't able to join us for our intermission report. And, you know, can you just recap on that, Gary? Yeah, no, absolutely. So, again, with Barrett, a couple things that he really enjoyed about today's game from his point of view and everything else. The boys, they're really clicking both on the front side and back side of the ice. You know, he's got to keep his head in the game. He can't be daydreaming and everything else. But, again, really great conversation. You know, the kind of way he, the spin he put it on it. This is just another day in the office for Adrian College Bulldog with his commanding lead and everything else. And, well, they want to keep that up tonight. Another shot from Oshawi from the point. He's got it again, looking to get something going here. As he dumps it down to Kuhn. Kuhn puts it behind the net where Moore is going after it. Moore can't get to it as Oshawa is going to be the one going after it. Now in front of the goaltender, Barrett, the one that we just mentioned, currently he's only giving up one goal on the night. He's seen 11 shots. Oshawa is with it, trying to push up across, stays back in the defensive zone. 18-37 left here in this final period of action. Severino's with it now. He's looking to dump it back. Oshawi gets it again. Oshawi looking to push across the blue line. Finally, he's able to do it. Severino deeks in front of two guys. All alone now. Shot poke saved by Smith. Smith pushes it to the other corner. Now we're going to have to see more saves out of Smith like that, especially tomorrow if they want to stay in this game. Donaldson takes it away in the neutral zone. Pushes. Loses it. Robert Morris is going to gain possession. Push it the other way, but Glimble, the captain, comes in and does something with it. Donaldson has it now. Back to Kotek. Kotek shot oh. misses, saved by Smith, and Nolan comes down to play it. Now Severino's with it. He has a goal today. 
And Robert Morris has it now at the far side corner, heading up across center ice, crosses the red line. That's number 17, Dahlberg. Shot saved by Barrett. Barrett has a great save and another opportunity, but it misses wide. Nolan goes down to the ice after he was taken down by number 20, Ky Kuiper. Kuiper is down there playing with fours as Donaldson is the one that grabs it. Correction, Smith is the one that grabs it and heads the other way with it. Smith crosses, had a guy tangled up on him, but he's able to keep possession of it. Three on one here, basically. Heading across, Deeks can't get by. Heads the other way with it as Robert Morris. Ooh. Smith takes him down, big hit. Robert Morris has it now, dumps it the far side of the ice where Shagassi is the one that grabs it and sends it in. Pushed bit back, Stanko has it now. Stanko fakes the shot, hits off a shin pad of a Robert Morris defender. Puck skips and hops over in front. Finger has it now and a save by Smith. Great series of events here for the Bulldogs. Now again with the Bulldogs coming out strong here in this third period. They want to add to their nine goal lead right now. Having some good quality shots. Again with 40 shots on net tonight. Uh, both the Smiths kind of having a hard time. And we've seen Barrett, the, their defend, keeping his head in the game, blocking his goal down up to the Bulldogs side of the ice. But let's see if the Bulldogs can add to this uh, lead right now. Bulldogs with the puck now sent back to Kent. Kent hits it off of a defender's stick, and now it's off the netting, so we will get a whistle. We have 16.45 left here in the third period. I'm Matt Kibbe, joined by Gary Vetito here on the Adrian College Sports Network, streaming on Adrian College TV and on WVAC Adrian 107.9 FM. You might hear us say that a lot, and it's due to the FCC regulations causing us to have a legal ID as often as we possibly can, it feels like. Well, it's great having these games on the airways. I'm glad we're able to do this here at Adrian College. It's a great partnership our executive producer, Gabriel Shry has made with Dr. Steve Sheehan, the director for WVAC, in order to stream our games directly from the arena that we are at and put them on the airways of WVAC for all of Lenawee County to hear. Robert Morris has it now as they cross the blue line. Shot saved by Barrett, rebound. Can't get by as the defense is able to clear it from the defensive zone. Good to see Barrett's head on a swivel right there with a nice save. Robert Morris again trying to chip away at this lead. They want some more goals, but I don't think uh, they got a big hill getting the climb tonight. Kent has it now behind the net. He's going to be the one that brings it up. He gives it over to Perkowski. Perkowski is intercepted right in neutral zone ice. Robert Morris has the other way with it now. 15-40 left here in this third period. Bulldogs have a commanding 10 to 1 lead as a Robert Morris player tried to dump it at center ice, but Glimble is the one with it now. Shot saved by Smith. Moore goes after it. Moore has it. Moore pushes it up to Oshawi. Oshawi, sorry, apologies there. And Moore is going to go after it. Moore with it in the corner now, pinned up against the wall. Glimble there to help. Can't get it. Robert Morris has it now. Heading the other way with it is Robert Morris looking to get something going here. As Dahlberg had it and sent it the other way. Stone, the defenseman, the alternate captain, the leader of the defensive team here for Adrian College. As it's dumped away and intercepted by Smith. Great work with the stick to find that puck and knock it out of the air and keep it in the offensive zone. Robert Morris has it now. 14-45 and counting here in the third in the third period as Robert Morris goes in after it. Kotak going down to the far side corner. Looking to get something going. So yeah, you were speaking earlier again about that leadership out on the ice. I think that's something Coach Astalos brought up in your meeting as well too. And what did, what did he say about having leaders out on the ice? He mentioned how important it is and they have so many leaders on this, on this team that are able to do so much for them and bring in and act and know. You know who we named as one of the leaders of this team? Who's that? Michael Barrett, the goaltender down hey, there. The there you end. go. He is who he is considered not only a vocal leader, but just his presence. And he loved to compete um, for this Adrian College Bulldog team. And you can see it when something's not going the way they want it to. He's one of the first people to speak up and get his team going. It's very this team is very team centered. And they're yeah. all for one and one for all. And you really see that with Coach Astalos's kind of mentality as he coaches and he interacts with players and everyone else and and I kind of seen that with my uh, with Michael Barrett there at our uh, last intermission report of kind of he's always on the ice you know and he's always being that vocal leader for this team and it's great to see that 
Severino with a shot, rebound, couldn't be corralled by the goaltender Smith, so we'll continue to play. Kent has it, swipes it over to Chagasay. Chagasay tips it, and Glimble can't be the one that pokes it into the back of the net. Kent has it now at the point, stretching across the length of, or the width of the ice, ice correction there, apologize, can't talk tonight. How's that Slurpee helping you? <laughs> Slurpee is keeping my throat from collapsing in on itself as we've had a lot of goals here and a lot of action, so a lot of talking for us here on the call. You got that right, Matt. Donaldson has it. Shot oh. point save. Looked like Smith caught that off the face mask. Yeah, it sounded like it. It was a great save to use your whole entire body to keep pucks out of the net. You're the goaltender. That's your job. There you go. Donaldson has it now. He pushes it up to Shagasay. Shagasay over to Kent. Kent at the point. Dumps it behind. And Kuhn's going to be the one going after it. Kuhn gets double teamed. Loses possession of the puck. And Robert Morris will head out with it. They'll sit back and wait. Dump it across. So, yeah, I just want to give another shout-out to our post-game report. We should have Coach Stylos up here kind of give us an action-action uh, review. Get him on camera. Give us some feedback from tonight's game. And it's always exciting when we get a chance to bring the coach up here and see uh, – what he's uh, what he has to say from his perspective on how his boys are doing tonight. We mentioned it earlier in the broadcast, but the the relationship that we have built, ACTV and Coach Gary Astalis and this ACHA D1 team, we're able to bring you some of the best content across ACTV, and truly, I consider ourselves one of the best broadcasts on ACTV and ACSN. Well, no argument there, man. I really, <laughs> you know, I'll appreciate that. I'll take that <laughs> shout out. But no, absolutely, like you said, we built some really good relationships with this ACHA. D1 team, a uh, big part, again, with Coach Ostalos and how welcoming he's been of our network and everything else. And to have these games streamed both online and over the airways and have some really good feedback. Shot and Smith comes out of the net, makes a great save as the Bulldogs were looking to extend their lead to double digits. No, we definitely uh, we want more goals. That's one thing that Bulldogs always like to they definitely enjoy doing is putting that puck in the back of the net and right now we're almost halfway through this third period with no goals yet and we scored <laughs> 10 in the first Feels two. Feels weird. It does, it does. I feel like we should have three or four goals by now already. The season in this high period. in goals in a game is 13 for this Bulldog team. They've had that happen one, two, two times here on the campus of Adrian College. Both came at home, one against Grand Valley State and another against Kent. And to piggyback on that point, man, I think one thing to notice with that, we've only had 44, I don't want to say only, but we've had 44 shots on net tonight. And by this time with some of those other games with 13 goals scored, we've had up on upwards of 80-plus shots on net. So the shots we've had have been some really quality shots. I believe the record for shots on goal in a game for this team is nearly 120. It might be even more. No, absolutely. It's in three digits. It's in three digits, and that is just unheard of. For any level of hockey, and this Bulldog team just shows how dominant it really is. It is, and that's why, again, we're at that 10th straight week at that number one spot in the country. It's very well deserving with how this team is able to play. They are 22-0, and and they are looking to keep continuing this grind and putting it on it as Kotek heads in, but it's poked away. He's going to have to recover, but Robert Morris takes it away. Looking for any sign of momentum to take into tomorrow night's game. Shot glove saved by Barrett. Can't hang on to it as the rebound goes for Robert Morris. Robert Morris has it whip on the puck. That was number three. Don't have a name for the number on the roster. And it looks like our director, C.J. Wade, has finished studying All right. for geology. And a shot and goal. goal! Just in time for C.J. to Just see the goal. Just in time for C.J. to adjust it on Wirecast. And this lead will be extended to double digits, 11-1. to one with 10.06 left here in the third period of action. There you go, Kibby. You got your double-digit lead. Great to see another goal there by the Bulldogs. And it's just, it was funny. We seen a minute ago Barrett trying to glove a save. Well, he gave up a rebound that ended up turning into a goal for the Bulldogs. All right, face-off run by the Bulldogs. All right, number 13 for the Bulldogs moving to center ice. Off the boards, near side, Kent number five. Defensive side moving to midline. Dumps it in to Robert Morris. Back behind the goal. Robert Morris collects it. Sends it up along the board. Bulldogs top of the blue line. Dump back in to Robert Morris's goal line. Robert Morris setting up. Bulldogs applying pressure. 
Applying pressure, able to regain the puck. Nice big hit there by Robert Morris. Return again by the Bulldogs. Robert Morris moving up near side of the ice. Onside, Barrett able to collect the puck behind the goal. Dump it around the board. Robert Morris to the top of the point, shot. Glove saved by Merritt. All right, good to see Michael Barrett there with his head on, ready to go. Nice glove save, and we're, we'll set up here for a face-off down on the Bulldog defensive side. Yeah, great job there by the Bulldog defense and Barrett to do something there. You know, I'm going to give it to you. Keep it going. Oh, here we go. This. Here we go. Gary Benito. Oh, Dave man. Here we go. Play by play. play, play ACHD1. Here we go. Rock Take it over, Gary. Even got my daughter out here tonight <laughs> watching me. Here we go. All right. Nice save there by Barrett. Start us off. Robert Morris dumping it back in behind the goal line. Stone, number 25, around the board, near side. Number 17 for the Adrian College Bulldogs. Near side of the ice. We're onside into the Robert Morris defensive side. Robert Morris collects the puck up the line. Bulldogs keep it in, keep it in the zone. Dumped out into the center ice. And it looks like we're offsides. All right, here we go. We got 8.37 left in the third period. Adrian College, 11 goals. Yes, number one, and we have a penalty. It looks like we got number 25. Dan Stone for the Adrian Kyle Bulldogs. He's gonna have a seat for two minutes. Minor penalty. And here we go. This is another opportunity for the Robert Morris to hopefully chip away at this lead. You know, maybe come away with a goal right now with a man advantage. You know, they want to have some good walkaways for tomorrow's game because I'm sure I don't want to be in that locker room later on tonight as they talk about their preparation for tomorrow's game here in Erringine Ice Arena, one o'clock. Robert Morris. And their defensive zone, setting up, collecting the puck, moving to center ice. Now we're into the Bulldog defensive side, dump behind the goal. Near side, back to the top of the blue line for Robert Morris, looking to shoot, collecting, they're setting up their offense. Back and forth at the top of the blue line. Near side ice. There we go, dump in the middle. Back to the far side of the ice. Robert Moore still trying to find a seam right now. They're having a hard time with this Bulldog power play. Power play kill. Shot! And save. All right, Adrian College Bulldogs able to dump that off back to the far side of the ice. Back there with Robert Morris. Robert Morris again setting up. Getting a little lazy with the puck. But here we go. Robert Morris on the attack, moving up to their blue line. Off to center ice. Dumped off to the near side of center ice. Into the... Oh. Shot and save by wow. Michael Barrett. What there a you go. save there by Barrett. Right Great in front. save. He came out and gloved that with authority. That he did. He, that looked like a web gem right there if I've ever seen one. It's good to see that his head's on a swivel right now. He's keeping fresh. Like he said, another day at the office. You know, they don't want to get complacent. They want to stay in the game for especially Michael Barrett as we got a face-off here down in the defensive side for the Bulldogs. Face-off one by Robert Morris. They're able to set their offense back up again. Top of the blue line, far side shot. Blocked by Adrian College defenseman. Dumped off back into Robert Morris's defensive side. We currently have seven minutes and four seconds left for the Adrian College 11, Robert Morris one, 10 goal lead by the Bulldogs. 22 seconds left in the penalty with the one man advantage for Robert Morris. They are down on their defensive side, setting up, ready to run their offense. They got about 12 seconds left on this penalty, one man up, center ice. Nice defensive stop there by number 12, Coon. Now we're back into the defensive side for the Adrian College Bulldogs. Shot high, wide, into the net. Deflected by the Adrian College Bulldogs. And we have six minutes and 39 seconds left here in this period with two seconds left on the power play. The Bulldogs have been doing a great job at being able to kill this power play for the Robert Morris uh, Eagles. And you know, you got to be proud of that if you're – Coach Gary Estales, you have an 11-1 lead, but you're still playing with all the heart that you need to be playing with, and that's Absolutely. exactly what you want. No, and that's a point I wanted to make earlier, Matt, with the Bulldogs. You know, they, they have the talent, but they also got the heart. They really do work hard. Shot saved by Michael Barrett. Deflected off. Now we're at even strength, 5-5. Five to five. Shot high again into the net. We got 6.30 left in the third period. Adrian College 11. Robert Morris 1. It looks like we're going to have another face-off down into the defensive side for the Adrian College Bulldogs. 
Yeah, Robert Morris has been doing a great job all day. Carbine is in at the defensive stand for Robert Morris at the point. Robert Morris able to collect foot shot save blocker by Barrett. Oh, here we go. Fraganelli, number 18, moving up the ice. Two on two. Dump behind the net. Shot by number 19, just wide. Mike Moore, just wide. Oh! And we oh. have, I didn't know if that snuck in or it looks like Smith, he was able to cover that one right there. And we'll have another face off down there in the Robert Morris offensive side. We got six minutes and eight seconds left here with Adrian College 11. Robert Morris won, and currently there are 46 shots on goal for the Bulldogs and 19 shots for Robert Morris. Bulldogs win the faceoff, top of the blue line. Stern, Stone setting up, dumped around back behind the goal. Number 26, Smith with a big hit. Shot and whiff by Stanko. He's able to get back over there, collect the puck, drop it off to number 25, Stone. Back behind the goal, setting up back behind the goal with Stone. Moves around. Back to the top of the blue line. Oshway over to the left side. Top of the blue line. Dumps back behind the goal. Looking for a rebound. Shot. Oh, just wide in front of the net. Robert Morris collects, able, able to collect, collect the puck. Back to the center of the ice. Dump back off into the offensive side for the Bulldogs. Or correction, the defensive side for the Bulldogs. And it looks like we're going to have an icing. We're going to bring it back down to the other side of the net. Or excuse me, the other side of the ice for a face off. Here with 529 left in the third period. Robert Morris is just looking to try and find any momentum they can to push into tomorrow night's game. That's or tomorrow afternoon's game. That's going to be at one o'clock here on ACSN. Now it'll be another exciting game here for the Bulldogs and Robert Morris. And again, I'd like to see what Robert Morris has to say in their locker room to get them ready for tomorrow's game. Down the corner, Robert Morris side back behind the net. Glumpel able to get a deflection, and Smith with a, able to jump back on the puck. And we're going to have another face-off at the defensive side of Robert Morris here at 510 on Adrian College Television and WVAC Adrian. Something I want to talk about is tomorrow, not tomorrow's action here on ACTV at 1 p.m. This team right here, the men's D1 team. Shot save. Nice save there by the goaltender. Great Smith. save by Smith. It was a quick shot off of the it face. It was. It looked really good. It was a good. bang, bang play, but please go ahead, man. So this game, there will be a rematch tomorrow, this game at 1 p.m. You and me will be on the call again, once let's again, do it again on ACSN. And then after that at 5 p.m., the men's D3 hockey team will be taking on Kent State. So, again, tune in to ACTV. we got a bunch of exciting hockey for you tomorrow afternoon on ACTV. Shot high just over Smith's head right in, fr up, right in front of the goal. Now it's back behind the goal, number eight, the Bulldogs, moving around. Roger Morris, number five, Lucas Stover moving up the ice, dumped off to number 19, Joe, with a shot wide. The flexor came back, and Barrett was able to jump right on that puck, and now we're going to have a faceoff down on the defensive side of Adrian College Bulldogs with 4.37 left here in this third period. You know, right now, this is going to be – if the Bulldogs can pull this off, which <laughs> with 4.37 left, it should be I, possible. I think they will be able to. That will complete the sweep here on ACTV across our network hey. for the day. Men's varsity hockey was able to win today by a score of 5-2. to two. Men's hoops beat Olivet by a score of, I believe, 96-83. to 83. I'm, I'm probably wrong about that. I'm just guessing. We'll check those numbers. We'll check it. But they won. There and we go. And this game today, we'll be able to – complete the sweep here on the uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say on the, <laughs> on the campus of Adrian College. On the campus College. of Adrian College hey, here, ACSN and ACTV2. No, it's a great day to be a Bulldog, I'll say that. I love seeing all these winning programs here at Adrian College. Plenty of ways for student athletes to get involved, artistic students to get involved, just so many different ways, whether you want to participate in sports, watch sports, announce sports, talk about sports, plenty of things to do here at the campus of Adrian College. We got 3.50 left here in the third period. Adrian College moving into the offensive side, and looks like they'll be offsides. Again, we got 3.40 left here in the third period. Score is 11 goals to one. Adrian College lead here at Arrington Ice Arena. 
tonight. And Kibby, what have you seen throughout this whole game? What do you what do you really feel with this game? You know, I've gotten the chance to kind of sit back here and see how everything has been developing. And you know, you see right now, Robert Morris has been playing on their heels the whole entire game. Sure. Adrian has kept it down in that zone, trying to keep anything they can, not allowing Robert Morris to even breathe in the offensive zone. No, I think that's a good way to put it, Matt. Adrian College is definitely suffocating Robert Morris anytime they get down on the offense side. And we got some action down here. We looks like we got number 18 for Robert Morris, and number 13 for the Bulldogs getting chippy with one another. Shagase is absolutely dominating lane right now, not even letting anything happen. The linesman is having to hold him back. And Lane just got absolutely obliterated. Number 18 for Robert Morris. And it looks like Steven is going to be sent off for the night. He's going to have to, go have to take a cold shower and cool down for the rest of the night. Well, we got uh, in the penalty box. Second say had to, <laughs> is immediately at, and they are not happy over on the Robert Morris bench, which I would not be either. No, if it's, you were down 11 to one. No, when you're when you're down by this this big of a lead, or excuse me, this big of a de de deficit, you can really start getting frustrated with these uh, calls, whether they're the plays, however you want to spin it. Uh, but being down 10 goals, you, yeah, frustration starts to set in. But again, we're here at three minutes and 30 seconds left in the third period. It looks like we'll have to navigate through these penalties here just a minute after the referees and linesmen get a chance to talk and figure out what's going on. That was just an absolute, you know, it's not very often you see this D1 team look lean on the fighting ability and the physicality. They're very physical. No, they'll be physical. But they but are the not an after the whistle type of team. And something happened here. I didn't get a chance to see what it was. I believe it was something that Lane did to the goaltender. That yeah, it, it was that. kind of Shagasin away from the action. was not happy, and he made sure that he knew about no, it. No, he let him know. He definitely let him know. Again, it was kind of that action away from the action. They got this. Both teams a little excited here at the last little 3.30 left in this third period, but let's see if this excitement carries over tomorrow night, or excuse me, tomorrow afternoon. I think uh, we're, we're going to be in store for another fun and exciting game here on ACTV, uh, but we'll see if uh, we can keep up this big lead uh, both tonight, and uh, we'll see how that uh, transitions in tomorrow. Yeah, we will. These two teams will go at it again tomorrow here on ACSN. As the referee, I believe, is looking over a mini uh, rule book to make sure we get the correct call here. Yeah, I think he's crossing all his T's and dotting his I's right now. They want to make sure they get the call right and everything looks good. But again, here on ACSN, I want to give a shout out to my color commentary, Matt yeah, Kibbe, as I step into play-by-play play -play tonight, and our director, C.J. Wade, there at the computer, and Leonard Poole with the top cam. So, again... Matt and I kind of changing things up a little bit, a little bit of fun, kind of out of my element, if you will. But I think you put you made a good point, kind of as you get to sit back and kind of take the game in versus having to, you know, call the action as it happens, happens, happens. It's kind of cool when you're on the other side, when you kind of sit back, take it in, and nail it. It's analyze. a lot different than what you're used to, I would say, as you got to get to step in front and only get to call the action. You start realizing those motor skills Woo! going from, yeah. here's what's happening, okay, now it's out of my mouth. I get to sit back my yeah, throat there you feels go. great no Kibby, i'll say <laughs> i have a better appreciation for what you're doing day to day so good job keep up the great work but uh thanks for the opportunity <laughs> let's get into some little information here for you actv is executively produced by gabriel stride here on the campus of adrian college if you have questions comments concerns you can email him at g at adrian.edu his email is always open for any comments encouragement Anything you liked about our stream, anything you didn't like about our stream, he is always the one that will listen and get back to you with that. You're going to want to send him an email and just let him know how we're doing. If you like what we're doing, send us a message on Twitter. We're at Adrian College TV on Twitter. You can even you can even message me on Twitter, PXP Kibby Matt on Twitter, and you can get in contact with me there. There you go. No, most definitely, and like you said, Kibby, we love the feedback. Feel, feel free to share it to our uh, – our bosses and everything else, because same thing, Gabriel Shrive, very easy guy to talk to, very easy guy to work with, really knows his stuff, solid guy like Coach Ostalos, another solid guy, and again, it's just, you know, as, as I come back to school and everything else, I'm really glad I came here to Adrian College, a lot of really good people, good, good people in the community, and a great campus to work with. You're one of the few people on this campus that has had the ability to go to other schools and experience life Absolutely. in a different view than what we have as undergrad students. You're one of the few 
that is very fortunate to serve in the U.S. military, and I want to thank you for that. that service. No, I appreciate that, man. And again, yeah, I'm a non-traditional student with non-traditional experiences, but I can say I'm very thankful that I came back to Adrian College and really got a chance to get involved here with everyone. It's been a really great time, but here we go. Start the action. Face off one by Adrian College down in their zone. Pushing over the blue line to center ice. Dump, Kotek, dump back in behind Robert Morris. Fife down there, applying pressure. Puck moved up. Again, gained back by the Adrian College Bulldogs as they set back up on their defensive side. Puck near side of the ice. Into the middle, skated over. Robert Morris able to cap capture, but they were off sides. And we're going to move back down the other side of the ice for a face off. Again, we got 3.06 left here in the third period. Adrian College 11, Robert Morris 1 here on Adrian College Television. And we got a face off just outside the blue line. Won by Robert Morris, center ice. Touch back over to the blue line. Onside, but Adrian College able to regain the puck. Setting up, dump back off behind the net, behind Barrett. Adrian College. Looking around, looking to set up. They got 250 left here in the third period. Really just about maintaining the puck, maintaining the lead, being smart, no dumb penalties. It looks like Robert Morris, number 15, is going to be out. Adrian College moving up, moving the puck. Cross their blue line over the near side, dump back in behind Robert Morris. And it looks like we're going to get a partial line change. Got 224 left here in this third period. Number 11 for Robert Morris, moving up, center ice. Back and forth, digging out, players left and right. Shot, saved by Michael Barrett. Great job there by Michael Par Barrett. Let's look at the upcoming schedule for these ACHA Men's Division One hockey team. Today they're facing the Robert Morris Illinois, as they will do tomorrow at 1 p.m. Then they'll have a short break coming back on Thursday the 30th to face Calvin here at Arrington Ice Arena at 7 p.m. We'll be here on the call as we always are. Let's do it. Then they will travel to Calvin. And another big series to look at is going to be the Davenport series on 2-6 at 7 p.m. That's another home-and-home -home series. We'll be covering the home game for that stretch. Excellent. Should be another good opportunity for us to get some more Adrian College Television stream out there and see if we can even get out on the airways of WVAC. Puck back behind Robert Morris's net. They got two minutes left here in the third period. Robert Morris looking to set up. They would like to chip away at this lead. Have something to walk away with tonight beyond one goal as they're down by 10 goals. Up to the onside for Robert Morris. Dump back off to the top of the blue line and Adrian College able to clear it out. Robert Morris again collected on their defensive side. They move across their blue line up to center ice. Getting ready to attack. Shot on Barrett. Blocker save. Deflection out wide. Kotek gather the puck back behind the net. Again, he's got a minute 29 left. He's going to set it up. Looks like everyone on the ice kind of knows what's going on. we got just under two minutes left to play. And they kind of want to get this game over with with no injuries, no dumb penalties. And here we go. Kotek moving the puck up. Number 17 dumping it off. The Robert Morris' defensive side, we got one minute, nine seconds here to go in the third period. Adrian College 11, Robert Morris 1. And Robert Morris setting up, moving up the ice. To end. And we got one minute, as you heard overhead, we got one minute left in this game tonight. Puck dumped down here to the near side of the ice. Coon shot wide. Good block there off the glove of Smith for Robert Morris. Got 40 seconds left here in this third period. Puck to center ice. Back to Robert Morris on their defensive side. Pushed up into center. And they're going to collect it. And everyone out on the ice is kind of maintaining their space as we got 25 seconds left in this last period of hockey tonight. Robert Morris across the blue line onside. Moving in front of the net. Oh, great defensive play there by number 17 for the Asian College Bulldogs. We got. Our final 10 seconds now. Bulldogs gather the puck, able to move it up, keeping it behind the net. And here we go, the last couple seconds of this hockey game, and the Adrian College Bulldogs will walk away with another win tonight. Yeah, the Bulldogs will walk away with an 11-1 victory here on the campus of Adrian College at Arrington Ice Arena, an 11-1 victory. And, you know, if we're going to want you to stay tuned here on ACSN as we have Coach Gary Salas making his way up here right now to have a quick interview. We'll be right back on ACSN.
Ice Arena on the campus of Adrian College, an 11 to one victory for the number one Adrian College Bulldogs against the visiting Robert Morris Illinois Eagles. We have Coach Estalis up here right now, and Coach, what are your thoughts after that victory here at home ice? Yeah, much better than a week ago, right? <laughs> Played well, worked hard, really good second period. I think we controlled our emotions a bit better the last 40, and it's what led probably to some more success. You know, towards the end of the game, we saw a lot of physicality and a lot of extra penalties with a couple players getting sent out on both teams, sending out of the game with game misconducts. What's going to have to happen tomorrow to keep kind of those emotions in check? You said it towards the end of the game, it was a lot better, but what needs to happen over the course of a whole entire 60 minutes? Yeah, we just got to stick to our plan. It's an intense game. You know, Robert Morris, a good program. They work, they, they work hard. They're, they're not coming here to lose. It's, it's going to be competitive and it's going to be a battle, but just got to stay out of the box and, and play the game the right way. One more question for you. What are you looking forward to tomorrow as your team looks to keep going with this tremendous streak as the number one team in the nation? Yeah, I think we got to remember it starts 0-0. You know, it's a whole new game, and they're going to come out hard and ready to go. So we got to be prepared uh, to come back and, and get right back to it. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Cool. Appreciate it. Thanks Good luck me. tomorrow. Appreciate it. We'll be right back here on ACSN to finish up with our post-game thoughts. But if you're listening on WVAC, we're going to send you back to your regularly scheduled programming. And we'll be right back here on the Adrian College Sports Network. Thank you for listening. If you were listening on the airwa airwaves of WVAC, have a great night, Lenaway. <laughs>
CJ Wade was our resident geologist and director, and we had Matt Kibbe here, that's me, on play-by-play -play and color, and then we had Gary Veneto on play-by-play -play and color as well. We thank you for tuning in for this presentation of ACHA Men's D1 Hockey on the Adrian College Sports Network, and we hope you have a safe night. The final here from Arrington Ice Arena, 11-1 to in favor of the Adrian College Bulldogs. We'll see you tomorrow for the repeat of this same matchup, Adrian College versus Robert Morris. Stay safe, everyone.